Hey, welcome back to an episode of Instant Ramen Podcast. I'm your host, Juan, and as always, my co-host here with me. Hey, Trip. Hey, buddy. How you doing, man? I'm so much better than I was before. <laughs> I was going to say, oh, I'm fantastic. I uh, got over some uh, food poisoning, and now we're recording. So sure I was are. slightly worried. Might get in the way, but I'm feeling cool as a cucumber. Mm-hmm. You look good. Feeling good. Baby, you look better. Ooh. You just got back from a sick-ass trip. Sure did. And you know what rhymes with trip? Lit. This this week's Triplet. episode, <laughs> oh. we're talking about Land of the Lustrous. Land of the Lustrous. Uh, it's a fun-ass anime that came out a couple years ago, mm-hmm. and we were like, eh, not for us. And then everyone else is like, it's really fucking good, though. Mm-hmm. So finally, today's the day that we talk about what we think about Land of the Lustrous. And uh, let me just tell you... It's good. We'll yeah. talk about it later. Yeah, yeah. It, just, it just kind of boils <laughs> down to being one of those weeks where nothing premiered, right? And then you kind of do the thing there's where... so much shit. And then you go, well, there's no real news. And you go, I guess we're just going to watch a, a show. And we picked this show. We so. sure watched it. We watched the shit out of it. Yeah, so that's good. Yeah, I did actually go to a trip. I, yeah. I, um, <clears throat> a buddy of mine who had graduated from college, uh, Kyle, who his mother listens to podcasts sometimes. Yep. Kyle doesn't because he's a... Bad friend. Whoa. Okay, um, yeah. He had a graduation party up in Moreno Valley, and I have relatives that are up there. So he was telling me about his party and all this stuff. Like, we yeah. were driving around here in Chico, and then he, I go, oh, cool. Thanks for the fucking invite, dog. And he goes, yeah. oh, you know, you want to come? I was like, well, I wasn't invited, you know? He goes, uh-huh. he goes, hey, Juan, you're more than welcome to come. I was like, cool, we're going. And so we just drove out there. Um, it was a nine-hour drive. Uh-huh. I think we did it in, like, eight. So we did pretty good. That's good. Making yeah. good time. I was, like, all to Cutting the- off a bunch of folk. Brake check and nonstop. I was fucking speeding, bro. No, I've never... I've driven, you know, f- far, right? Okay. Pl- two places. <laughs> but yeah. I've, never, I've never driven that far. Uh-huh. I've also never never driven, like, um, like at night that long, you know? Yeah. Straight. Um, so it was interesting because I was, like, I was kind of worried. as like, you know, I, I hope I can do it, right? I don't want right. to have to, like, make the trip longer than it is. Um, and then I, I know Kyle can drive, but I was just, like... I don't know how well he can drive, so mm-hmm. like I, I, I've never seen him drive, but I know he knows how to drive. <laughs> I've never seen him in a car once. I've seen him sit in the car, but never in front of the steering wheel. I've seen his license. And then I, I was also, well, like, if I'm tired, he's also with me. I'm sure he would also be tired, so I was yeah. like, I, I can trust myself or whatever. Right. So the first half of the trip there, I'd, I mean, the first trip there, I drove up mm-hmm. with him, and it was interesting. It was like just listening to the music. Um talking about anime and manga and life and just been there man just a bunch of stuff like just telling stories because you know eventually you kind of run out of stuff to talk about so yeah you, so you go hey you've ever like pooped your pants and then you oh, go shit yeah man like tell me about it and then you kind of talk about <laughs> oh, it you know okay uh okay <laughs> you know what i'm saying like that kind of happens you know sure. just like, what else do we talk about there was a bit where like i think it was like we were two hours out from getting there and we just got really quiet and we're like, okay, cool. No one's saying nothing. We're just going to, not even singing, just focus on getting Sometimes there. you just got to cruise with your homies and that's mm-hmm. when you know that your homies is because you don't have to feel yeah, that you void. Just, yeah. You, you, you it, know? It can just be like that silence, you know? Yeah. And when I mean silence, like Nickelback is playing and you're just like, mm-hmm. you know. There's just sexual tension. Yeah. Nobody wants to be the first one to say something, but, but you both want to say you something. You're both you know? super hard and you're just like, show yeah. me your dick. And you go, man, I can't. I'm driving. Um, yeah, you know what's funny? I, I thought I was remembering that joke. I was re- I remember <laughs> remembering that, the Nickelback uh, no, no, AMV no. joke. No, no, no. Okay, no. I was remembering um, the. Uh, I think I don't know how many podcasts episodes. It, it must have been three or four episodes ago. But like, I was really adamant that I wanted to see your penis. What? Yeah, I kept saying, "Yeah, show me that dick." God, I don't remember. I just remember, this. I remember very vividly because I remember driving <laughs> and I remember driving and remember like that popping in my head. And I go, "What?" And I go, and I, I I'm sitting there going. Which friend was I joking about him showing me his penis? And I couldn't think about it. And then it must I, have been me. It was you, it was for sure. On the you. podcast, I guess. It was on the podcast. Fuck I don't it. remember anything that I say ever. I, don't, I remember like half of what people say to me, mm-hmm. but I don't remember anything I say and usually not what other people say. Yeah. So um, that's a fun thing to bring up again. What did, what Something we decided to do, or I decided to do, because I was like, hey, man, I'm driving. Uh-huh. I didn't want to make a road like a road trip playlist because like that sounds like a lot of work, right? A little bit, yeah. So I looked at my Spotify and I, I have a playlist called Road Trip, but it's essentially just music that I could jam to mm-hmm. and not really get tired of. So, so what I decided to do is like I want to look at all my playlists and see which ones are like the longest or 
maybe there happens to be one that's the right amount of time. There was one playlist that was the perfect amount of time for the trip, mm-hmm. and it was my Mexican playlist. Just like a <laughs> bunch of Spanish music. I might go, hmm. You have like a 10-hour long Mexican yeah, playlist? Do, yeah. Damn. And so I was like, okay, it's like probably not this one. And so what I decided to do is like, hey, man, I'll play my starred playlist, which is like Spotify gives you a starred playlist right off the bat. Like you can just... It's the first place that exists is just starred, right? And you just go, this is my favorite. And what I do with starred is just set any song I've ever liked ever, I just add to there, right? Mm-hmm. I go, cool. I'll just, I'll just add to this. It's just kind just, of. It's kind of a medley of it's just, all the garbage you've listened it's to. It's a huge just dumpster five. Yeah. Everything I've listened to for the, since I've acquired Spotify, right? Um, and it's like, it was 35 hours. And I go, fuck, that's too long. And I go, How do, I'm just going to be skipping songs. And I go, you know what? No, I'm going to listen to it from the very top and then just try to go to the very bottom is like listen to every song in order right not skip through it and so what was really fun is like while i was listening through the playlist from the beginning to like i didn't get to the end i got i've got 20 hours in yeah um i would i was able to like remember where you were where i was in your life or in my life about when or specifically where i was when i was like hey i need to add this on my playlist and that was really really fun because like that sounds kind of cool it was it was it was interesting because i go okay this song came out like around like my freshman year of college, I was like, this is the friend that showed it to me. Cool. Or I go, wait, this song's old. I must have remembered it and then added it later or whatever. Uh-huh. And then there's like pocket, pockets of specific groups where it's like, ah, oh, yes, this is like the week that I was really into fucking Maroon 5. It's just like yeah. 10 Maroon 5 songs. I got there. really into Weezer right then. Yeah. The very beginning was a lot of Weezer stuff. <laughs> Um, so that was fun. I mean, I, as dumb as that sounds, like that was like a that's pretty cool. Real, actually, I was like sitting there driving with Kyle, and I'd be like, "Oh, dude, this song, this song," and I would tell them about like how, where I was. Yeah, song. I don't, I don't think I have a that. start playlist. Yeah, I don't. I, <laughs> you're explaining it, and I'm like, huh. they might have, they might have gotten rid of it. But I remember it was just like this thing that was like, "Hey, add it to your playlist," and it was just called Starred, and it's just like your favorites or whatever, or like your, you know. Like a I like kind of thing. Yeah. See, I have liked songs mm-hmm. and liked from radio. Well, I know I didn't name my playlist Starred because that's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, exactly. Well, that's why I'm like, what the fuck? And then I, I have some that I've made, but hmm. I, maybe it's just changed to liked songs. Maybe. I mean, I, I don't I, know. I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe people are like, we're confused with what does this Starred mean? And yeah. then you go, oh. But I definitely don't have enough music in either of those because I never like things on Spotify. I'm just like, oh, yeah, I'll put that in this playlist. I'll mm-hmm. put that in these two playlists or whatever. Yeah, I don't do that. I did, I did the exact opposite. And yeah. while, while listening to this stuff, I go, wow, some of these songs kind of suck. Or I go, I should have really curated this shit and been like, <laughs> these are appropriate songs to listen to here. And these are good songs to listen to here. But no, I just have a fuck. I do have. How many playlists do you have on Spotify? On Spotify? Let's see. Because I don't have many. I have Road Trip, like I said before, which is just stuff that I don't really get tired of that I could just play whenever. I have one that I call Mellow, which mm-hmm. is just a bunch of kind of chilled out, low key music. Um, a lot of lo fi hip hops in there and some other stuff. And then I have my. Uh, Chris's jams, which is that's essentially my who gives a shit. It's whatever it is. Throw it in there. Um, and I have game jams, Mm -hmm. which is stuff from video games and remixes. And then weeb stuff, which is all of my (laughs) nerd ass anime shit. Okay. These are the playlists I have, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I have one called, so I have one called liked songs. Yeah. Um, and it just, I guess that's song. Yeah. <laughs> you mean your starred playlist? It's, yeah. No, it's this one's just called like okay, songs. Sure. Yeah. Start I have playlist. one called appropriate music and with the emoji shrug. Uh-huh. Um, because when we were in our game, div- our game studio class, it was really, yeah, you quiet. had to make some yeah. like, cause we were all really stuff like, that really doesn't working, say any and we, swears. we asked our teacher like, Hey, can we play music? It was like, sure. So I kind of added a few people. I was like, Hey, add whatever you think is appropriate. So I just kind of uh-huh. went through my start playlist and go, this song not a, doesn't have bad words, and it's not like overtly about sex. I'll add it or whatever. So that's why it's appropriate. Uh-huh. It's a lot of fucking classic rock, I bet. Uh, <laughs> then I have a playlist called my AMI playlist, and this is a playlist for the. There's a jukebox at the bars called AMI jukeboxes, uh-huh. and um, in that app on my phone, I have songs that I've liked, and they go, "Cool, these are the songs I want to listen to when I'm out and drinking, and you know, pl- <laughs> you know, having a good that's time." That's funny. And then I realized, oh man. There's times where I want to listen to those songs, but I didn't have a playlist, so I went <laughs> and got the songs I picked on that playlist and added them to here. That's yeah. really funny. Um, I have a playlist for playing basketball. Um, I have a playlist. Um, it's just called Basketball. Uh, there's a playlist with all the Brock Hampton songs. There's a playlist um, with uh, the starred one. There's one called... 
uh, Juan's Guilty Pleasure, which is just uh, yeah. all K-pop. Okay. Um, there's one called Of All the Gin Joints in All the World, and that's uh, I think someone gave that to me, and it's just I think it's all Fall Out Boy. I have one that's all Drake. I have one that's all Marco Antonio Solis, which is like the Mexican Elvis. Mm-hmm. I have one that's all Mexican music, and uh, that's it. Those are all the playlists. Yeah, you got a lot on there, man. Yeah, but I, uh, oh, and there's the 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 playlist I that I listen to the most. It's called uh, Raiders of the New New something Raiders of the New Ark or some shit like that. All right, and it's just songs that I, I picked up in college that I really like. Um, and I listen to that one the most. The other ones like I have to dust them off and be like. I guess I'm checking this boy out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I should just delete all of them. Anyways, now that we talked about my trip to LA, yeah, uh, I How? just it was good. I hung out with Kyle and his family um, for a couple of days. Uh, they had like a huge party. People were coming and going, and I met a lot of like his friends throughout time. Like his who's his school? worst friend that you met? Oh fuck, that's <laughs> that's kind of brutal. Um, I think I think his worst friend. It was probably two of them. And it wasn't that they were bad people. It was just that mm-hmm. I don't think I would have, like, hung out with them. Oh, yeah. One there are them, lots of people like that. One of them was a girl, and she was, like, really intense, man. She was like, oh, I'm fucking in it, boys. And she was huge about her studying abroad in Japan. And she was just like, when I was in Japan, I really wanted to have a boyfriend. But the Japanese boys wouldn't even look at me. She's like, I just want to get fucked. And another one would fuck me. And she then, was a little bit too intense yeah. for me. And then yeah. she, this is the best part. This, this is where I knew she was way too intense. She was, she was, she was honestly, like, like all the Japanese boys in Japan, they're fucking, they're all bitches. Like, they have no balls. They don't fucking, they don't man up. And all the, and, you know, so they don't fuck any any girls. Not even the Japanese girls. Like, it's like, but all the foreign dudes that go to Japan, they get fucked like crazy. You guys should all go to Japan and just get have a bunch of sex. And I go, yeah, I'm cool. I'm going gonna, gonna to pass. She's pretty hardcore. Super hardcore. In, in a way that, like. I'm not hardcore. Uh, yeah, obviously, like, she didn't say those words verbatim. Some of them she said verbatim, but, like, that was the gist of her conversation. Yeah. And I go, she's she's a little intense. <laughs> and the other guy was, uh, and she she he knew Kyle knew here since elementary school. Um, like, they were friends. Damn. And, again. Um, and this other guy, I think he met him in, I want to say, like, middle school or high school. But he was, um, he was also intense in a different way. He just always had, like... He always had like a crude joke to say, and most of them, most of the jokes were always like implying that he his dick was hard or that he was wet, um, and that was just kind of it. Someone would say something like, "Oh yeah, that's you know that's really funny," and he'd be like, "Yeah, funny like you sit on my lap, boom," and I'd be like, "All right, now okay. I understand it because." I was just like, Juan, you know that that's my personality, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, Are yeah. you attacking? Is this a personal attack? Yeah, he was you, Trip. You were there. Yeah. No, he was. Uh, <laughs> he was nice, but I mean, then he had like a. He would have s- stories to tell, and most of the stories were just like, "Yeah, man, I drink a lot, and I'm an alcoholic." And I was, <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. And, but in my head, I was like, "You don't really seem like an al- alcoholic. You seem like a guy who just says he's an alcoholic." Um. Maybe he's an alcoholic. I don't fucking know. <laughs> but I'll tell you what. For an Man, alcoholic, you're a poser alcoholic. For an alcoholic, he didn't drink as much as I thought an alcoholic would drink. He came at one point. He goes, "I need to stop drinking because I need to drive home tonight." I was like, oh, "That's a fake alcoholic right there." Yeah. Those two guys, yeah, those okay. two friends. I'm just like, you know what? It's just they were fine. I don't think I would like hang out with them personally. Uh, the ones I liked the best were this guy named Jeff. Mm-hmm. He was a Costa Rican. And he was just like really friendly and really loud and he wants to be like a child therapist or whatever. And he's married. And yeah, he was just like really cool, you know, like he would he would crack jokes and All right, Jeff. Yeah, he was nice. I met a friend of his name, Hector, who was really good at Smash Bros. Like fucking killer. He was really quiet, <laughs> like kind of like a very like, hey, you know, like yeah, it's, all, it's all good, you know, kind of meek. Yeah, 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 sure. Um and like he opened up a little bit more, but he's kinda of realized his personality just he's just kind of like a chill dude, you know, and like um and so when it comes to smash bros which he, apparently and then when he does play smash he's also like not a dick about it he yeah. goes he goes oh yeah good game or whatever and he well, goes because he knows he's better than you yeah absolutely but he wasn't an <laughs> asshole about it you know because some people are good at you, better than you and they go fuck you you suck dick and i go the, but real good people aren't like that yeah i guess that's true not me i'm the best fuck you suck dick yeah exactly unless you're looking at like high score girl in which case sometimes the best people are the loudest most obnoxious mm-hmm. Or they're like the quiet girl who fucking crushes it at every game and gets silently and frustrated. And is super rich or whatever and has yeah. a butler. You know, so essentially what you're telling me is Hector is high school girl, super cool high score girl. Yeah. yeah. And then Jeff is the other girl. <laughs> Jeff's the other girl? Yeah. And he's not the guy? No, because no, okay. Kyle's the guy. Duh. Okay. Okay. Just, okay. Duh. 
And then Kyle's um, the loud, obnoxious, pompous prick. Yeah, there, yes, absolutely. That okay. is Kyle. There's another friend too who's huge into cosplay. Mm-hmm. She doesn't seem like she'd be into anime. She was, she's, like, I think she's Korean. She was a Korean girl or whatever. And uh, she was like really well, like put together and stuff. Like didn't have any like, like fucking wild weeb shit on her, you know. Mm-hmm. And then as soon as we started talking about manga and anime, she was in it. Like, she's like, I got this. Like she, I mean, she's more into manga. I feel like than anime, but she's. I like, feel like that's more hardcore. Yeah, absolutely. She goes, hey, have you read this one and that one and blah 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 and. And I was like, oh, cool. She knows what she's about. And she likes cosplay. And she's at Anime Expo all the time. And then I remember Kyle telling me that her claim to fame is for the longest time when you would type in like Squirtle, Squirtle co- cosplay or whatever, she was the first image that popped up in Google. And, oh, I, and I go, that's cool. And I go, is she still there? And Kyle goes, I don't know. I haven't checked in a while. I was like, can you check? He's like, nah, it don't fucking matter. <laughs> so you didn't even check? I didn't check. I don't fucking care. You want to check? No, I don't care. All right, cool. <laughs> Let's just say it's still there. It is. She's number one. But she was really nice. She had a bunch of drinking games and made us play. But the thing is that she got there kind of late, so by the time she we were playing drink games, everyone was kind of done drinking. Mm-hmm. So we just played the games anyway without drinking. Was it still cool? Fun. That's good. Yeah, it was a good time. Um, and responsible. And then his family was really nice. Um, his younger brother is like just a big old massive like sweetheart. You know, he, he's playing. He went to college to play football um, and a scholarship, and then he kind of got tired of it because it was really burning him out. And he joined the League of Legends team there. They have mm-hmm. esports, and now he can still have his his scholarship. As long as he's on the esports team, <laughs> and uh, he's like, wait, what a world. He's, like, he's like, wait, hold on, I can play video games, and you'll pay me to go to school. And they go, yeah. He goes, okay, cool. <laughs> and the, his coach is calling him back, and said, hey man, we want you back. And he was telling me about this, and I go, it sounds like the coaches want you back, but you know you're not going to be like a professional football player, and you know that like it's a lot of work, it's tiring, and like it's so much stuff. You don't really get to focus on schools, like or or you could just play video games like a couple times a week or whatever, mm-hmm. and still go to school. And he goes, yeah. You're right, you know. <laughs> yeah. Duh. Yeah, but super nice guy. And his parents, are, funny. his parents are super sweet. So, yeah, it was just a good time. How cool. Um, and my mission was to ruin my friendship with Kyle because he's leaving after he comes back from his yeah. trip. Uh, he's going to move away, and I don't – it's easier to not be his friend and not see him ever again. And I told Kyle this. You know, I'm, I'm ruining my friendship. That's, yeah. that's the goal this week, weekend. And he said, he said, I won't allow it. You can try, but I won't allow it. And I go, Mike, you have no fucking choice. I'm just going to fucking drop trial and shit in your dad's pool. And the friendship is over. Yeah. I threatened okay. him. Well, that doesn't work all the time, but yeah. Yeah. Kyle also has like a, a dog that's like 14 years old. Uh-huh. He's just riddled with cancer, dude. Uh-huh. But he has like lumps, you know? Yeah. And he was like, I was like, oh, this poor guy. And then Kyle goes, yeah, man. Like, he's just really old. Uh, you know, he does that's what happens. He, he does whatever he wants. You know, he can do whatever he wants because he's earned it, right? Mm-hmm. Um, he's also like almost fully blind and almost fully deaf. That's classic yeah. old dog, yeah. Um, my favorite, I think one of my funniest joke was uh, he was like standing at attention, and then Kyle goes, "It's his name is his name is Chips Ahoy." They call him Chips. He goes, he goes, he goes, Chips, ever vigilant. He goes, he's fully blind and fully deaf, but God, is he ever vigilant? Like you know, like he's the perfect watchdog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God damn. Anyways, uh, after after spent those days, I spent uh, a day with my relatives who live in Moreno Valley. Got to see their new house. Got to talk to them. Um, we went to food, had some beer. We watched a soccer game. And when I mean we watched a soccer game, I fell asleep for the soccer game. Classic soccer. Mexico won three to one. Way to go, Mexico. Good job, Mexico. I guess. Yeah. And then I drove back. And it was really shitty because uh, I was alone and it was a pain in the ass. It was so. cold and dark. Yeah. And then, I, <laughs> and then I got home and I'm really glad to be home. I'm excited. I'm actually going, I don't know if you know this, I'm going to LA this week again. Why? Actually, I'm on Thursday. I'm going to San Diego with my dad, and okay. then we're gonna we're gonna rent a car, drive to Semecula to look at like uh, new taco trucks. Yeah. Um, okay. And then we're flying back Friday, and then the week after that, we're going to Anime Expo. I did know all of that. I just wanted you to tell me oh, everything. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, man. That's all I've been up to. That's awesome. That sounds like a lot of good stuff. A lot of weird stuff that kind of came out of nowhere, and that's cool. That's yeah. down. I'm, I'm cool with it. Yeah. Besides being pukey, what's up with you? Listen, man, nothing really. Uh, I had the weekend off, mm-hmm. and I feel like I've been doing stuff pretty consistently on all of my days off. Uh, so this weekend, I was like, I'm not going to do shit except for get together with Eliza and start making uh, P-Chan for my costume, because mm-hmm. I don't remember if I said it on the, co- on the I think we talked about podcast it a little not, bit last week. I, but I think I mentioned it. I did order last minute um, a Len costume from Sword Art Online Alternative Gun Gale Online, and... Uh, I don't even know if I'm going to get it in time. So I'm not really caring too much. We're just going to make a really shitty P-Chan, uh, P90 gun prop 
for Anime Expo. Mm -hmm. So we started that, and it actually took a lot more work because we couldn't get, like, a good thing to trace, a good picture um, to scale. So instead, we had a picture of it we had the dimensions and we just did measurements and then converted all of that oh, so yeah, it was a so lot of just like this is drawing about third lines. Of the way here kind of thing yeah so that's we, smart yeah we were doing a lot of uh math and whatnot and we we're like well this isn't exact but it's pretty good um and yeah so we essentially did the outline and cut it all out three times so that we could get it kind of thick on the the material that we have and now we're at the point where we kind of put on some extra shit to do um more detailing essentially Mm -hmm. and then after that we just spray on all of the pink and then paint in a uh, a stencil of like the anime eyes oh nice so it's not too much that has to be put into it at this point but it it's also a lot (laughs) so we did a decent amount of work and what say you can't wear um your peach on for anime expo which isn't mm-hmm. the end of the world right yeah yeah would you wear it for like halloween or something oh yeah i mean oh, yeah nice. we got we got time and honestly if it's halloween uh then that gives you time to get your fuka costume together yeah and you could be just grenades girl i'll be grenades girl cut off your legs <sighs> only if, yeah only if we yeah. do the leg cut off yeah like, we're doing it'd, the legs that'd be so funny yeah we throw some like pixel art on god i love knees. that fucking show <laughs> leave me it's no, great fucking right? come on you're Are gonna you go back in five minutes yeah. <laughs> like all right cool <laughs> If you haven't I seen, love it. if it's you haven't amazing. seen Sword Art Online, Gungale Online Alternative, fucking watch it. If you don't like Sword Art Online, still watch it because it's, so it's not Sword Art. It's totally different. It's so good and it's great. It's yeah. fun. It's like what I wanted Sword Art to kind of be, but Sword Art's instead like, yeah, it's just gonna be like a harem, and then Kirito always has to fight like a murderer for some reason. And he's always like just the best swordsman for some reason. Instead, this is Karen. Who plays this little girl in a gun game, Mm -hmm. and she didn't care what she was playing really, but she found the gun game because she was a small girl. She's like, "Oh, cool! I always wanted to be small because I'm too tall." Woman, yeah, she's a giant woman. She's a college girl. Yeah, she's giant though. She's, I mean, she's she's big for like a girl. Yeah, like seven feet tall. So, anyways, I did that on Sunday, Mm -hmm. Uh, but on Saturday, my my plan was to do fucking nothing, right? So, that's essentially what I did. I watched Land of the Lustrous for a while, and then uh, I started playing a little bit of Cadence of Hyrule, which I bought a week ago. Mm -hmm. Um, I played it for like an hour or so when I first bought it, and I realized... You know, it's fun, but I don't know if it's for me too much, because I played a lot of Crypt of the Necrodancer, which is, this is kind of a spinoff combination of Zelda and Crypt of the Necrodancer. So I played a little bit, and I showed it off a little bit to you, just because I thought Mm -hmm. the pixel art and the animations were really really fucking good. Hey, did you ever get that thing you couldn't kill earlier? Don't know what you're talking about, but uh, my story is going to go into, so I started playing it after I had played it for about an hour, and then... uh, I beat everything. Everything. Yeah, in like five hours. Yeah, not 100%. There were two things that I didn't get. I don't know what one of them is. And then the other one is a platform creating wand, which I didn't need to get. Mm -hmm. Got full hearts, got like every kind of weapon. I got all the the stuff. So five hours. It must have been just like a short game. It's a six hour game. Yeah. Um, But there's also a secret character that you unlock that only has one heart, I think. That's harder. So yeah, you you die in one hit. Yeah. I, I haven't tried it. But it's cool. So I thought the music in the game was fucking incredible. It was a lot of fun, but it took me a little bit to get into it. At the beginning, it's hard because you don't have any good items. You don't know the patterns of the enemies. You just aren't used to it. Um, You don't know what the most important thing is for you to do when you're starting out. You're just like, got to get items and I guess go on from there. And then the more stuff that you unlock, it's like, oh, here are some icons on your map so you know what you should do in each area. Mm-hmm. Oh, here are the bosses so you know that there's a hidden boss in this square that you were already in. And just other things that kind of tell you what there is. And once you start unlocking that stuff, it's able to kind of lead you in a certain direction. And then once I did that, it was just, oh, okay, I'll go over here and I'll get this. Oh, cool. That's a good item. Oh, sweet. A full heart piece. Like, oh, okay. And mm-hmm. just kept adding on until I got to the point where I'm like, yeah, I just, I can't die. It pretty much, I died three times after the point that you had watched me yeah. play, which I was up in a little corner of the map. Finished the rest. It was fucking awesome. Cool. The music is incredible. I really want the soundtrack. It was fun. Uh, and let's see, I don't think I really did much else. I found out about this show because on Friday night, um, 
trying to play games with friends and our plans kind of shifted and we had to find some other game. Mm -hmm. So we looked around for a bit and it was mostly Eliza and I looking up different games that were like a decent price that everyone could play because Sierra's on a Mac. Mm -hmm. So she wasn't able to play just anything. We were like, maybe we could play Raft. No, if we played Raft, then she wouldn't be able to play. And I don't know. Let's see. And eventually we came up with uh, playing Golf with Your Friends, which is a mini golf game. And it's got all different kinds of things. It's super janky. I think it's still in like beta or alpha mm-hmm. or something. And uh, you just, you all start playing at the same time. You're on a mini golf course. Like you don't have to take turns. You have two minutes to get to the end. Oh, cool. And you have a certain amount of strokes that you could get or whatever. And then there are other modes where instead of just putting like normal, you try to dunk the ball. So <laughs> you you putt and then you could also make the ball jump and you have to jump it up into a hoop at the end instead of in a little <laughs> hole. Right? That's so dumb. And you could also do slap shot where instead of it being a ball, now you have a hockey, hockey puck. puck yeah. So you slide around a lot more and you have to get into a goal and there's a goalie at the end that's blocking it. And it was a lot of fun. So we had fun with that. And then the next day in the morning, I'm just chilling want to watch some tv pop on hulu and hulu has uh, it doesn't immediately start you out with the shit that you've been watching or whatever instead it's like here's some new things Mm -hmm. and there's a new show that i urge everyone listening to go and watch called holy moly yeah i've heard about this It's on abc i hadn't heard shit about it exactly produced by uh steph curry the basketball player I don't remember if he's an executive producer or not, he, he but is. he was a special guest for sure. Yeah. And he was on it a few times. Uh, he's not going to always be no, no, on no, the no. episodes, yeah. but in the first one, they like fly him in on a helicopter and they yeah. do all this stuff. And they have uh, Rob Riggle, who is this incredible commentator from it. He's in a bunch of different movies. If you've seen the other guys and Step Brothers, and he kind of plays bit parts and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And he's always really funny and everything. That yeah. He's yeah. In. I've actually, I've seen uh, commercials for that. This is the year of like, um, basketball players being huge entrepreneurs because, yeah. uh, fucking LeBron James started mm-hmm. his show. He's a producer of his show called, uh, the million dollar mile, which is an yeah. obstacle course, but they also run a mile and stuff and they're getting raced. They're getting, it's like a game of tag kind of thing yeah. that's going on. And then Holy Moly is exactly produced by Steph Curry because mm-hmm. he's has, um, a, like a history of doing like pregame warmups and he does like these antics and he's like really silly and does these wild yeah. shots or whatever. So like, yeah, so it, Holy Moly is like, it's like mini golf meets like wipeout, right? Like, yeah, it, essentially it is. But what it actually is, is it's America's MXC. No shit. Really? It's that so good? fucking good. Oh, cool. So the commentating is really what brings it home. Okay, I good. Mean, they start out and they're like, hey, welcome to Holy Moly. It's a show about professional mini golf and it's a competition for $25,000. ABC gave us a shitload of money and we're on prime time, baby. Yeah, so yeah. we're using it. I want to check it out. And they just make all different kinds of jokes. They have one. Uh, my favorite joke in it was they had one specific hole where the whole idea is there's a platform that turns and then there's something behind it that's there to distract you. So they had Kenny G who's like the, the king of saxophone yeah, yeah, yeah. essentially he plays like super sultry, sexy <laughs> music all the time. And anyways, uh, so it was kind of goofy, but then the commentator after they finished the whole, one of the girls is just like, who was that anyways? And, they, <laughs> and they're just like, did she just ask who was that? They know Kenny G She's never made love in her life. Oh, just like damn. roasting the people. I fucking love them roasting them. And then, <laughs> probably the best part of the whole show though, it wasn't a commentating thing. And I don't understand the show because it feels like parts are scripted and parts definitely aren't. Mm-hmm. You could tell which parts that are commentated aren't scripted whatsoever, but it's hard to tell certain things if they're scripted or off the cuff or whatever but it's pretty funny even if it is written it's pretty damn funny anyways one of the contestants they're all actual mini golfers they all i don't want to call them professional because i don't really know but they play mini golf and they're pretty damn good at it um so one dude he misses the putt and you can't swear it's prime time so there are certain words you can't say but he just really hard he's just like he yeah. just yells fart. And the commentators sit there and they're like, did he just yell fart? He just, did you hear that? The man just yelled fart. 
and they just didn't know what to say. <laughs> like, who yells fart? It's fantastic. I highly recommend it. Yeah, it's many... fucking funny. One episode's out. It's like an hour long each episode. Yeah. Which blew my mind. Anyways, fun ass time. So I like that I accidentally stumbled into this after playing a mini golf video game. It was meant to be. It's pretty fun. I've also been playing some Earth Defense Force. Um which I don't remember if I talked about that on the podcast, but essentially it's a uh, it's like Starship Troopers, but a video game. There are a bunch of NPCs that just scream stuff about how great everything is being in the army and being a soldier and everything's amazing, except you're fighting aliens. And they say a bunch of stupid stuff like, oh, man, this is the best job ever, as long as there aren't any monsters to fight. And uh, to show up. yeah, and then uh, stuff like uh this isn't a world war. This is a space war. You know, they're just screaming stuff as you're blowing things up like crazy. Anyways, it's a super clunky kind of feeling. Very difficult to get into defense type games. So nice. stuff's just coming in. You're blowing it up the whole time. Fuck, it's fun. You have a bunch of different classes. It's a looter shooter type thing. So you just have to go in there and collect a bunch of stuff after you blow up the giant spiders or ants or UFOs or whatever the fuck there are. It's so much fun, um, and it's really hard. Really fun, really hard. That's how I like my games. Just the best. I also play a little bit more Dauntless. It's just a good fucking game. But I did learn that Dauntless is not great on consoles. Uh, it's not too fantastic because it has a lot of server lag. So if you're going to play Dauntless, which I recommend you do, uh, play it on PC. Apparently, they're working on the Switch port and have been for a little bit. And because they're working on it, the Switch version for it, they're learning a lot more about consoles and how to make things better. So there's a chance that consoles will stop having that lag, that server lag, and everything's going to catch up to normal. Cool. So I'm really hoping it does. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I haven't been doing a whole lot lately. It's been super chill. I'm down with it. Works slow as fuck. Don't have any cool, fun work stories. Uh, visited it with my sister. It was chill. Met up with my mom last night, and then she gave me food poisoning, which was awesome. I don't know how I got yeah, food yeah. poisoning, but and I went to Frankie's with her, so I was really fucking bummed. I'm oh, like, I didn't dog. even get to digest this fucking deliciousness. Oh, bro, you so. puked up your potato pizza. No, I didn't get potato pizza, but... That's why you know, get the potato pizza. I didn't get the potato pizza. All right, man. What, that's uh, my life. What about anime, though? What you been watching? Holy shit. You want to know what I've been watching yeah. for anime? I can name everything except for Attack on Titan because I just haven't watched it yet. I'm yeah. a fucking idiot. Are you on... You've seen the one after The Basement, so that day, but not the most recent one. It's just called... Like, I've seen the story dump or the history dump of yeah, like... But not the second half of the history dump, right? No, not okay. yet. Yeah, I know it's out. I also haven't seen that one. I'm super excited to see the second part of it. Yeah, yeah. me too. And uh, just spoilers. spoilers, it's great. It's, it's fucking <laughs> amazing. No, yeah. no spoils. No, literally everyone is freaking out about mm -hmm. how good it is. We're now wrapping up anime, so I haven't seen the finales of anything yet. Mm -hmm. But I know like Sars on My is just ending, uh, which I haven't watched anymore past episode like four or five. I don't remember. Maybe I'll wind up watching all of it. Who fucking knows, dog? Um Shield Hero is still... I think it has one or two more episodes. Yeah, it's still going. It's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I'm having a great time with it still. Um, we're almost at the end. They've introduced a couple of cool-ass characters. Oh, yeah. I know you talk about yeah. Scythe Boy and fucking Fire Girl, bro. Yeah, the Fire Emblem characters. Yeah. <laughs> fucking awesome. Lark and uh, something else. I don't remember Clark, her name. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> she has like a normal-ass name. It's nothing crazy. Samantha. Which it... Something like that. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, it's just been a great show. And the way that it's been good so consistently to me is that it has been changing direction of what it wants to do. At first, it's like, check out how hard everything is for this guy. All right, so it's actually not that hard anymore, and he's just good at everything now. And he meets a lot of good people. Look at how much shit was fucked up from everyone else. You check that out for a little bit, and then it comes into, okay, how can we work together and progress and here's a little bit more about what's going on with the princess and all of that and here's some backstory and it just kind of explored the characters and the world a little bit more which was nice to have and it got into we really need to work together guys we can't just keep fucking up they argue a bit more it's pretty generic in that the same thing keeps happening over and over with that whole storyline but whatever because the new angle that they're going for is Hey guys, there's another issue 
uh, outside of all of us about to die. Yeah, those, I think so. it's this like again we don't know because I'm caught up with yeah. what we've seen so far, but there's still more to go. But mm-hmm. it looks like these two new characters are also from another world that's yeah. being like you know overrun or needs to needs the fucking what's it called the the waves to succeed for some reason right yeah and maybe the new characters are bad guys but they actually seem like they're good guys right it's a really mixed thing which i love Mm -hmm. i love those gray areas i I was super surprised too because like cool dude in my head i I felt like i'm like they're too easy to like too quickly something's going on either they're gonna die or they're evil well when they showed up i was like oh cool two new members of the party great and i was like oh they're like competent Mm-hmm. And they and they they're and they're good people. This is awesome. And I was like, I also felt like something's up. Yeah, I was like, something's gonna happen. And they're not evil. No, but, but they're not on no, our side. No, because they're talking to the to fucking you know the shield here on there. It's like, they're hey like, man, we need to take care of our shit. And like, we get that you have your shit, but we but have like, our we got to look out for us. And also, if, we're not gonna hurt your friends. We just want to hurt you. Yeah, we just need you to beat that or whatever. <laughs> really like that. Um, so comparing it to something else, which was two core, uh, slime. What the fuck did Slime do? It Ooh. was like, hey, man, here's a bunch of good-ass editing, some amazing sound effects. You got a good soundtrack, a good story to start. And then very quickly, it just became, all right, we're just going to kind of follow on. Like, more stuff's happening. Let's see where it goes. And then nothing was happening. And then nothing happened and some more nothing. And then just kind of, a, got, we're going to teach some kids yeah, really got, quick and save really, these kids. They got convoluted. Um, I'll tell you something, though. Yeah. They would have put more Gope in that show. Yeah. That would have been better. Everything. Dude, he was shadow sneaking shadow like a sneaking? motherfucker. It was great. Goped up on the bitch. Yeah, that would have been cool. Um, I also caught up. I'm also caught up with Shield Hero. Mm-hmm. I agree. It's 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 pretty good. They're like, doing a good I job. I enjoy it. And, and I've kind of come to the point where like I'm pretty over East guys, you know? Yeah. I feel like there's just, it's too saturated. The market's just fucking booming. That's, yeah. They're, and, you know, but this is a good one. You know, it's, it's just Honestly, one, it's one, one of its merits. One of the better ones. For sure. Uh, it, I, I would put it on par with... I would say it's better, like at this point in time, it's better than uh, when Sword Art Online first came around. Mm-hmm. But when Sword Art Online started, holy shit, that was incredible. Yeah, I'd never seen anything like it. And then the second part of season one came out. And you go, oh, why am I watching this? Yeah, exactly. Uh, but with Shield Hero, you have, oh, this feels like, you, you know, we already know what's going on, but this feels like it's done so well. So I feel like it's on par with that same feeling of mm-hmm. first watching Sword Art back in the day when it first came out. Yeah, I agree. So I don't know. I've been, I've been having a great time with it. I want to see more. Um, I hope it gets more good stuff as yeah. we go on, but uh, I understand people not liking it too, but I honestly think it's one of those shows that I'm just going to love. It's going to be a guilty pleasure if it ever gets bad because I'm having so much fun with it. I think I'm also in the same spot where you are in stars are my, or whatever I have been watching. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, You've watch, almost given up on it. No, I still like it. I mean, well, exactly. I, but, but you haven't but watched it. Like, I haven't watched it. You know, I'll probably just binge it before this. We have to do the wrap up because yeah. it's like whatever, right? Well, I, I was just kind of thinking, like in the shower today, thinking, well, I haven't watched it in a while. I like want to, but honestly, I'm, uh, yeah. I'm watching other shit yeah, instead. Yeah. So. I agree. Uh, what else? I think I'm like I said, I'm in the same spot for Attack on Titan, where yep. I have one episode I haven't seen that's currently aired. Um, Really excited to watch God, it. So fucking stuff. Uh, shit's fucking answers. Things are getting answered. I'm Everything's really, rad. I'm really happy. Super cool. Um, what else? I Demon have, Slayer. I'm I'm behind Demon Slayer. Oh, uh, okay. I uh, I um, liked this latest episode a lot. Yeah. Um, I, I think it's the latest episode. At least uh, did I the yellow haired boy? Whatever. So I had yellow haired boy. Yeah. He fucking sucks. I hate <laughs> him. He's the most annoying character <laughs> ever. Like in, in all More, anime. Let's just say like he beats Asta. Like beginning oh, of Black no Clover, way. he beats Asta for me. Wow, that's brutal. <sighs> it's really annoying because at least with Asta, I'm like, he wants to be good. With this guy, he's just whimpering and screaming the whole time until he passes out because he's so scared. And it turns out that he can only fight things when he's asleep. Oh, good. So he kills something in like two seconds and wakes up and is back to being super fucking annoying. But the episode had some of the best animation. They did some really cool stuff. I loved the demons in this episode. They had uh, one who controlled how all of the rooms work. One teleported the room that they're in by like he hits a drum that's in his body. Mm -hmm. Teleports the room. He has other ones which will rotate the room. Uh, so he could rotate it left or right or forward or backward. And uh, 
he has one that does a big old claw attack. So he doesn't actually fight. He just kind of hits stuff in order to fuck with the rooms. Uh, in this mansion that's like ever changing because he's fucking with stuff yeah, the whole yeah. time. So there are three demons in there and uh, yeah, they're just going through trying to kill the demons. Cool. But it was so well animated and really good. It was really cool. Honestly, the big ass demon fight that they just went through with the little ball girl and the arrows guy or whatever. I just, I, eh. it yeah, was not like- for me. Really clean animations, but fucking dumb fighting. I hated their powers. I hated how it looked visually with the arrows and all of that shit. Yeah. I fucking hated it. But this one was great. I loved it. I want to see more of that. We got to see the boar guy finally. Nice. See what his whole deal is. He's insane, essentially. He may be good. He may be bad. Who knows? He just wants to fight. Cool. So that was that was pretty cool. Uh, um, let's see what else is going on. Dororo. I'm still loving Dororo. It's almost over. Well, it is over actually. The finale happened. I haven't seen it yet. It just came out yesterday, I think. Um, which I haven't watched anything since the, Sunday. Yeah, the puke. Yeah, I threw up. It was great. Um, But yeah, man, Dororo is really wrapping up in a way that I like because it wasn't something that I was expecting to happen, but it's such a good show. Yeah, maybe I'll I'll watch it. I don't know. You should. I'm still confused why you haven't. There's just so many other things to watch right now. Like, you know. Neon, Ev- Ev- Neon Genesis Evangelion. We'll on talk Netflix. about that in a little bit. And we're not watching it. I watched. I'm already watching it. Are you? Yeah. Oh, fucking Juan. I like it. It's good. I know. We'll talk about it. Uh, what bit. else? Okay. Um, uh, One Punch. You, yeah. You caught up with that? I don't like it. Okay. I'm not watching a third season if it's by the same studio. Yeah. You, I, I'm just straight up You not. tell them. You let them know your grievances. It fucking sucks. <laughs> Sorry, dog. I'm at this point where I'm like, you know, it's okay. No, it fucking sucks, dude. There's so much that could happen that would be cool and nothing's happening. You know what's wild, though? It's what? like how such an amazing show, you know, yeah. just got fucked so hard, right? Yeah. It, like you go, you go. So irritating. You go two years ago, you go, man, fucking One Punch Man can do no wrong. You know, like mm-hmm. it's the most amazing fucking yep. show out there. Fucking people are cosplaying. The figures are selling like hotcakes. We went to the fucking Matt Street dog. You know, mm-hmm. we got all this dope. They got an English dub. Fucking <sighs> king of fucking. Hey, man. Actually, uh, One Punch Man news. There's a One Punch Man game coming out. It's going to be another fighter that's generic, just like the Black Clover, Shonen Jump, Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, but it's uh, by My Hero Academia. It's done by JC Staff, so it's okay. <laughs> um, and yeah, so anyways, this great show, you know, that could do no wrong. And then the second season comes out and it's just like, what the fuck happened, man? <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell you what happened in the last episode. I remember Genos got new gear for the like, yep. third time, fourth mm-hmm. time. And then and the guy goes, you should be even more powerful now or whatever. Yeah. Uh, Saitama was playing video games with King. Yeah. And the monsters are trying to, I don't know, they've got some like power situation going on. They're, they're setting up a society. People are eating hearts still. They got like sound, super sound sonic or sound, uh-huh. sound whatever to eat a heart. Maybe we don't know. And then they also heroes have cornered the the hero killer or whatever. And yeah, they're, like, they're gonna be they're gonna beat his ass. I, I, yeah. he'll be fine. It's the smile guys there and yeah. some other guy too. And yeah, Fucking I don't know guy with the big old Gatling gun. Yeah, um, yeah, man, I get what you're saying. I understand I, what you're saying. I'm still gonna watch it. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I have that stupid little bit of hope that it could There's still be amazing nothing going maybe, on. Maybe it could be good. Who knows? Even the story isn't there. Maybe who knows. Um, but yeah, I get what you're saying. It is pretty disappointing. Yeah. So anyways, I'm, I'm out after the season. I'm fucking out okay. unless another studio picks it up, in which case I'm back in it, baby. We'll see what they can do. Gets picked up by orange. Yeah, I will. <laughs> but you know, the thing is if it, if it does get picked up by somebody else and they make it and I see the first two episodes, cause I'll give it two episodes. So you, okay. So you, not only have you said you're out. Uh-huh. Unless a new season, the next new studio picks up, you've also given it fucking stipulations. Two episodes is all you're giving it. Yeah, because the first episode, it, we're, we're getting used to the new studio. Mm-hmm. Totally. Second episode, you should have at least found some solid footing there. And if I can't agree with you, then fuck you. Imagine them doing a worse job than JC staff. Like, they give it to another studio, like, hey, like, oh, cool, Trigger got it. Like, oh, dude, Trigger, no, Clo- no let's say Cloverwork gets it. Mm-hmm. You go like, oh, nice. Cloverworks, gonna be killer. Cloverworks has never done anything wrong. You know, they're the best. And then they just fuck it even worse. How funny would that be? I would watch that season. I would, for, I would, I would watch every second of the season and hate the, the whole time. 
We give it to Kyle as his <laughs> shit. <laughs> like, who would have thunk that Kyle's <laughs> shit animated this? It would be season three, three, one, three, three, two, one, 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 one punch in. Oh god! It, has he ever? Has he seen season one and two? Yeah, we're watching season oh, we two. Watch it together, it's cool. Fucking oh. um, it's a bummer. I would have liked it for him not to have seen any of the other ones and just watched the third season. Okay, um, god damn. What else am I watching that that is? Oh, fuck, I think that's it, man. I mean... Really? I, yeah, so... Um, what about Mix? I, or I, Touch? Or what's it called? It's Mix. Okay. I haven't I haven't watched Mix in a while. I I should get on it. Um, it's not that I don't like it. It's just like... Yeah, it's just kind of... It's okay. Yeah, there's just other shit that I yeah. would rather watch. And to be really honest, I mean, like, I know, I know you and I, like, you know, we're not going to... We don't like fucking kissing up to anybody, but uh, this season of anime, besides, like, Attack on Titan nothing like it, it, it hasn't been the best season it's i've a, been really having a good time with dororo shield hero shield hero is more of a personal one yeah. but dororo is just objectively Banger, good right season three of bungo is fucking awesome oh, you like it yeah. it's so good but i'm saying for like for shows of like for like new shows like yeah new shows no no now no, no. it's like and it's weird because i feel like four or five seasons ago of anime we had like the fucking huge dump of like fucking lolly shit or whatever and we're like this is the worst it can't get worse than this right and somehow this is just like i would i'll watch that i'll think i watch the lolly shit now like i'm just like this is so boring yeah (laughs) i mean but we have we have a lot of shows that i'm really loving demon slayer is the lowest for me Mm -hmm. um in terms of things that i've been keeping up with yeah stars on my i don't know where that stands right now yeah um but attack on titan is the best i think dororo is second for me and then Bungo and then Shield Hero. Um, yeah, and Demon Slayer is just okay. Yeah, it's, you just, you just kind of watch it because like, you, there's only 50 episodes. I, I'm not going to... I don't think I'll watch another season of this, honestly. Yeah. Um, they would have to convince me with the end. What if I told you... Because the animation's so fucking good, but I, I think the story is pretty stupid. What if I told you that uh, JC Staff picked it up? I would definitely watch the second season yeah, full absolutely. all the yeah, way through until I get fucking furious. Yeah, so that's it, man. That's all I've been watching for anime, honestly. Uh, I mean, I mean, mm-hmm. I have watched and been watching Neon Genesis Evangelion because it dropped on Netflix. Which let's talk about that really quick. Yeah. Um, so I don't have a whole lot of news. This is this is, this the is now the news. getting into the news. So I don't have a whole lot of news. But first off, hey, Evangelion's on Netflix. Uh, fun facts about Evangelion on Netflix: they have critically changed the dialogue. Yeah, they redubbed it and they changed stuff. Yeah. So characters that before had certain relationships now are given different relationships yeah, based cool. off of the language. So there's a, a gay relationship that it's now like, hey man, I'm glad we're friends. Oh, bummer. Yeah, they which is a it huge up bummer. For America. Uh, they should have made it hella gay for America. We would have been super cool with it. We would have been cool. That's all we're about right now, especially this month. Come on. Yeah, gay pride, pride and all that. We're we're down. Um fucking they got rid of the outro. Yeah, you know what? I fly me to the moon isn't there, and here is the worst part about that because they could have they spent so much fucking money on Friends. What they spent like a million dollars for Friends, probably more. Yeah, just to Wait, get it back for like a you, year you know or something. What's funny is that like I the intro I you know the intro song I'm like oh this yeah. is classic and like it's, it's yeah you're jamming. it's stupid long it's like way too long for it yeah, to be an great. intro right and like yeah this is what anime I mean, that was, was back in the day anime, yeah. you know and I really enjoy it and I go this is classic neon neon genesis right and like mm-hmm. I. I remember this. And then the outro starts. I'm waiting. I, and I, I, I shit you not. I'm sitting there um, and I'm thinking, I don't remember the outro is, but I remember really liking it, you know? And yeah. I go, okay, cool. I can't wait to hear it. And then whatever outro they have on played and I go, this doesn't sound as good as I remember. <laughs> and I couldn't figure out why until you just told me that they didn't play. Fly the, me to and the I go, moon. And then I go, that's right. Yeah. They had that fucking classical. Yeah. And, and I was like. Oh, those fucking bastards. Yeah. They didn't want to spend the extra money to get the license for it, yeah. which I would understand that if that wasn't a part of the show, too. Yeah. Because it's not just the outro. With anime, we know that the outro song will play during an episode, mm-hmm. and it'll be one of those big episodes that's really impactful. Yeah, yeah. What they did instead is they removed all the fucking audio. <laughs> okay, so there's just a really long silent sequence. They they have something there. Um and maybe it's like really like Oh, I mean for those moments where oh, it yeah, would be, saying, yeah, yeah. not the outro, but the song <clears throat> playing before, before the, the outro, outro yeah. in the middle of an episode. Just it's just silent. silent. That's funny. So they've they fucked the dialogue, they fucked the outro, and they fucked those really critical moments. I'm still watching um, it. I so like I'm it. not watching it. I'm, I'm boycotting it because fuck you guys. I was so stoked for this. 
It sounds like he's being lazy, guys. I'm watching it. I'm excited. We watch shittier stuff for this show, so I might not watch the Young Genesis Evangelia. Yeah, I, in in the worst way possible. I won't watch it on Netflix now. I'm it so else. pissed. Yeah, I'll watch it somewhere else. Yeah, I'll be won't. like, yeah, we'll do a fucking and we'll Neon compare Genesis the two. Like, yeah. Hey, remember the part where this Dude, happened? You go, no, man, they didn't do that. They did this. And I'll go, go out and buy the Blu-ray and support them instead of fucking watching it on Netflix. That's go, fine. Fuck yourself, Netflix. Right, go fuck yourself, Netflix. Piece of Netflix. shit. I would love to work for you one day, Netflix. But uh, yeah, I. Uh, I'm I I like it. I remember yeah. I didn't finish Neon Genesis Evangelia. I think we got like I think like six episodes or whatever. Oh, man. And then there I remember was, watching the movies or yeah. whatever because we we talked about it. At yeah, one the point. summary movies. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, these are okay. But I always wanted to go back and watch it, and it's right there on Netflix. And I go, okay. I I don't remember the original dub voice, right? Because mm-hmm. like I I didn't really watch it, or maybe even watch it sub, so it doesn't really change things for me because i don't know what the things are right yeah and that's a bummer right the whole gay relationship thing is like uh-huh. yeah i do miss out on that you know what another never huge it, moment so don't, is don't care yeah another huge moment is where, where jack's off Shin- from the girl yeah shinji yeah. yeah they changed his dialogue there i bet yeah absolutely because he said like i'm so fucked up or something like that Probably, he yeah. says like i'm literally bad or something <laughs> it's not that but it's really fucking stupid <laughs> i can't it's what it is it's cool man i'll just play that song um on my spotify when at the end of every fucking episode <laughs> perfect you yeah, kind cool. of work around what else news you got man or is that is that all <laughs> that's all the news no i also have uh evangelion 3.0 and 1.0 will reveal new footage uh 0706 operations what it's called it's going to be 10 minutes and 40 seconds long it's coming out in july this mm-hmm. year so we're about there we almost got it cool so finish the show and then watch that okay you'll be good okay uh and finally Fire Force, the anime, mm-hmm. is coming out soon. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be four core, baby. No shit. Yeah, we're getting in it. This is going to be the new big boy. This is going to be... It's a new big three, dog. It's the new big three. It's, be, it's fucking Fire. Fire Force. Black fucking Clover. Bl- no, it's Fire Force. My Hero Academia, Boruto, because you can't kill Boruto. You can't kill. Not. You can't kill what's already dead. Yeah. Um, no, uh, that's cool. Four core, what is that? Is that 40-something episodes? Almost? Yeah. F- it's about 50, yeah. Do about 50. You know what? Um, I was... I was laughing because uh i was talking to kyle about like hey had news about the the fire show or whatever yeah. and then he goes yeah he goes and then he he kind of like put his hips on the shoulder and like like said yeah. like rattled off some words and i go well what, what, what did you just say there he goes like he was it used to be called and he said what it was called or whatever he goes like but then the anime came and they changed the name for the anime so then they went onto the manga site and then they changed the name for the manga now it's just fire force and i go yeah Fire Force is a way better name. It's a lot easier, he goes, to say, you know, and he goes, yeah, I'm not happy about it, though. <laughs> so it, <laughs> I mean, was, I it was named something different. Yeah. And then there's like, this name is dumb. Let's change it. To, I think it was like Fire Engine 5 something or whatever. Like it was like something. Oh, yeah. And it's like, this is called Fire Force. I'm excited to see this show. I'm really stoked. Hopefully it's good. It's going to be a lot, I guess. So. Well, after I learned it's four core, I'm like, this could either be great or terrible. It could be the next Black Clover. <laughs> because I, I don't want another Black Clover where the animation just doesn't. It's not consistent. Yeah. It's lazy. Anyways, uh, hey, I found the quote. Instead of uh, Shinji saying the very important, I'm so fucked up, yeah. which I feel like really gives you some oomph yeah, behind that. Yeah, is a big word. Instead, yeah. it's just like, I'm the lowest of the low. Whoa. Yeah. That's very proper. Yeah. Fuck you, Netflix. I don't know about that. I, I just don't Netflix, feel like that's I'm something. boycotting it. I'm going to watch the rest of the season. It just on feels fucking like such Netflix, a fake thing. And then I'm going to go there and I'll write a mean comment on your, you guys' Yelp review or whatever. Like, that's something that you would say to somebody or about somebody yeah. because you've been thinking about it for yeah. a bit. But if you're in the moment, you're like, what did I just do? God, I'm so fucked up. Instead of being like, God, I'm the lowest that's of the low. I am the lowest like, of the low. What a fucking weird thing to say after jacking off over a girl that's like dying in her hospital bed. I am the lowest of the low. You know what? Yeah. You know, you can't, you can't spin it. No matter how you say it, it sounds dumb. I'm so fucked up. It sounds so much better, right? Um, <laughs> yeah. You're like, yeah, I got power. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, dude, that's, that's so fucking wild that they Isn't did that. Isn't that weird? Like, um, that, you know, why, maybe, why change it? What what's something that I also don't really, don't really think about is that if it was rated TV MA, right? They, they fucked, can do anything. Fuck this fine. Yeah. Right. The bad, you know, yeah. If they also, it, I think they show her boobs. Yeah, for when sure. That scene happens, oh, and yeah. he jacks off. Like this isn't just like a. It's kind of oh, it's coy. Like I don't know. We yeah, yeah. we're not going to show it all. No, it's like this is a really fucked up thing. Yeah, he's fucked up. He's, he's fucked he's up. He's truly the lowest of the low. Um, but yeah, I mean, if it was if they give it the TV fourteen rating, he I'm pretty sure you still get one fucked. Like yeah. you can still say that word, right? Like you you know just kind of like in PG thirteen, you get one yeah. fuck. 
Um, oh, uh, I guess since we're on this topic, yeah. Saw Toy Story four. Oh, did they say the F word? They said the F word. No, no. shit. They said <laughs> <No>. the N word. <laughs> yeah, this is the part where Woody says the N word. Oh god. Uh, no, instead, Kyle and I decided it would be amazing if every movie doesn't matter what the rating is, everyone gets an F bomb, but you don't have to use it. But it could be any movie. So fucking, it's Lilo and Stitch three, and they're just like, get your fucking ass over here, <laughs> yeah. Lilo. Yeah, they just throw it in there at any point. They feel like it's the best. I feel like you should be allowed to have one f bomb, no matter what the movie is. No, I think the rule is it's PG thirteen gets one. I yeah, think, I think they've relegated it to that. Yeah, it um, is. PG but if everything got one, and they could choose not to use it. Like people aren't ready for that. We shouldn't do it. But if other movies are there, and it's like, yeah, like they're sitting, we're gonna drop an f bomb. Like they're really sitting in their booth, and they're just like, you know what? I feel like Buzz's character would say fuck right here and they go come on man there's like a huge fucking round table meeting about it and they go put it in fucking it's green lit bo peeps about to drop the f-bomb in this scene in three two all right go um i haven't seen it yet i'm gonna watch i'll uh, probably watch it tomorrow here's my opinion oh come on don't spoil this no spoilers my opinion based off of the ratings and everything uh compared to toy story 3 Mm -hmm. the ratings are slightly better and I understand why, but I feel like the movies are like head to head. It's the exact same kind of like quality. quality yeah. Uh. So you couldn't necessarily say one's better, but you could say one's better for you. Mm. Toy mm. Story three, more emotional. Toy Story four, funnier. Uh. Toy Story four was better for me. Mm. Toy Story three, fucking amazing though. Yeah. I'm crying so, just thinking about it. Yeah, man. Toy Story four had some good jokes. It had horror elements that I like to it. Yeah. I always enjoy some horror. Let me let me fucking watch that shit. Hey man, I'm done. I'm I'm done talking about cool. things. That's the news. Uh, that's our episode, actually. No, it's not. Oh, okay. This Land of the Lustrous. Yeah, this week we talk about Land of the Lustrous. You can watch that on Amazon if you have Amazon Prime. It's on there. You just go ahead and pop it on. Good to go. It's by the studio Orange. Orange hasn't actually done a lot. They haven't been around for too long. Uh, at least I don't think that they've been around for that long. So they've done things um, like Dimension W and also Black Bullet. And that's pretty much it. Do we know what Dimension W is? Have we seen that? We've never seen it. It's a TV show, and I think they have movies. Uh, what Black Bullet? Nah. Yeah, so so far, everything we've seen from Orange we like. But we're aware of Orange. Yeah, I know, I know it exists, yeah. Because we also watched the show Orange, <laughs> and we knew about the studio yeah. Orange for Orange. some reason. Yeah, I think, I think they came around at the same time. So that's why we knew about Orange, is talking about Land of Lustrous initially, which is the same time that the show Orange was airing. I think Orange is done by feel. No. Yeah. It's it's by like a weird-ass studio. It's done like by like a... Uh, it, uh, it's by like that telecom, like some by shit. Fuji TV or some shit like that. I don't know, man. This shit's on Amazon Prime, so it's not very, it's not accessible if you don't have Amazon Prime, which is kind of personal. Um It's true. Uh, telecom animation film. Nailed it. So, this is a show that, like I said, came out, what, I think two years ago? Yeah, it came out in 2017. Uh, I think it was summer, maybe it was spring. Who gives hmm. a shit? The important thing is, it was a long time ago. Yeah. We were anime babies. Yeah. <laughs> At the we, time. Yeah, absolutely. This is... Um, we're full degenerates now. We, Back then, we thought we were. We didn't realize. We we you know, we reviewed it um, at the very base minimum. Like, we did, like, the... One the, episode the, we, review. The preview kind of stuff that we do. Yep. You know, we watched an episode. We said how we felt about it. And... How I, did we feel? I remember that... I remember... I personally... I mean... I felt that I like, went and listened to the full episode. No, no I didn't. you didn't. You son <laughs> of a bitch. Didn't. What are the words you used to describe this show? I said specifically... It's, it's, it's you know I could it's, it's, yeah. it's a night no uh, so the way I remember from the show was hating the way it looked I remember I got it uh, well because it was 3D mm-hmm. and the second that it came on I was like ah my, what the fuck my, my eyes pictures ass bullshit my eyes <sighs> and honestly what it comes down to is we've grown I'm yeah a, I'm a better person than we've I was matured, back then yeah. how about you. Yeah, I'm a I'm a college graduate now. Yeah. All right, so some I'm things a, I'm a have changed. To be married, just a, yeah. a touch. Uh, we are over that whole three yeah. animation throwing up over it thing. I still have gripe with Polygon Pictures. I want to make that clear for the record. Fuck you, Polygon Pictures. Uh, and I'm, off the record, I, I don't really know. They just don't make movies <laughs> that I like. Their animations okay, I guess. I, I think what it is like we we gave we watched the show and 
I remember, there was a lot of leading up to it. I remember disliking it. I remember reading the the synopsis, or whatever. Yeah. It's like gem like, characters. I'm like, oh, like, cool. yeah, it's I got anime. A Steven Universe. It's Steven Universe, but anime. And I remember watching it, and remember just really disliking the way it looked, and being really confused, and just kind of writing it off. Certain things, I remember certain poses mm-hmm. and certain movements. I hated. Yeah, I hated the way certain things were. Uh, one character, Jade, I believe, her voice was not appropriate for the way she looked yeah. like it just felt so like it was tacked on felt wrong yeah yeah um but anyways but, we just and people on the internet seemed to really enjoy it we didn't so much. we didn't understand why um but we you know we gave it a fair shake we decided yeah. to give it another chance and um like you said we've grown and honestly i get it i don't i like i, I can't say i love the way it looks mm, but you know what i don't I totally get I, it. I don't hate it um it's, it also, it's very unique yeah also in comparing it to all the other shitty 3D anime we watched. Oh my god! This is for sure the cream of the crop. It's, like it's the best. It's way up there, you know. Mm. Fucking Baki's ass. Fucking Aiko's ass. Fucking sword guy. Sword guy. Like you're like uh, oh. high score girl. Oh, that one's perfect. That one's also up there. Anything by Polygon, <laughs> Polygon Pictures. Pictures. Um. So yeah. So I'm, I'm. I'm. I can say for the first couple episodes I was watching it. Um. This second go around, and I was like, eh. And then by the third or fourth, you're like, you know what? I don't, I don't hate the animation anymore. Yeah, first episode, getting used to it. Mm-hmm. Second episode, I was used to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, then by the third episode, while I was watching it, I'm like, I just want to see more. Yeah. I want to see more of this show. Yeah, I like, want to know what's going, going on. But it didn't, it didn't hold me uh, the way that certain shows, like with Attack on Titan, I'm like, bro, give me another fucking episode. Mm-hmm. Like that show is for me as like, much as. It's like addicting. It's that. It's that. Yeah. Like, oh, I need. I need to know what happens next. Right. Like this show. Was any cliffhanger, like, which isn't really a cliffhanger. It's like this thing's done. I'm like, but what's next for this show? Not so much that. Like, what's next? It's you like, go. Oh, she broke her arms. <sighs> oh, okay. It's okay. I wonder how they're gonna fix that. Yeah. They fix it's, it. It's it's a little bit more calm about things. Yeah. So, anyways, why don't you just give us a breakdown? I was of hoping you give over- us a breakdown. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're normally the breakdown kind of guy. Yeah, but so. uh, I mean, I also watch this very tired. So there's parts where okay. I snoozed off, and I'm you were telling me about it. and They go, "What? That happened?" Yeah. No, I was <laughs> so going to try to fill in. Those how about breaks. you do the breakdown? <laughs> All right. Uh, so our main character is Foss. Uh, her full name is Foss Phosphalite, uh, or something like that. <laughs> She's a gem. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all of them are minerals. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're all minerals, and they are all girls. We find out quickly that they look like humans because they are covered in like powder that covers up their gem color. Oh, yeah, so you can you can see that they are entirely made of gem. They don't have any blood or anything, um, and they're just they're just gems. Whatever. Mm-hmm. So our main character is one of the weaker minerals. She can break really, really easily. Um, she doesn't have any kind of hardness, uh, no sustenance. She's a 3.5. Really. Yeah. They all do have rankings. She's a 3.5. So somebody else who is super weak, uh, who she's essentially Foss is trying to learn more about the world because she's given the task to create an encyclopedia. So she's trying to figure out everything. We get introduced to a few characters, but not a ton. They have a master, a sensei who's just a giant guy. This big old bald dude, like wears like a monk robe. Mm -hmm. He's kind of hot. It's kind of cool. Yeah. I kind of like him. I like him a lot. Kind of fucks with that guy. I would love to call him master. So Foss is a ditzy girl. She's given this job to create an encyclopedia. Don't really understand it, but whatever. Uh, she's ditzy. She's the youngest mineral. She was born like 300 years ago. Yeah. And that's still pretty young uh, in terms of their world, I guess. Yeah, well, one of them's like 3,000 years old. You know, yeah. like the Yellow Diamond's the, either the oldest or second oldest. And she's yeah. like, yeah, in hindsight, 300's nothing, right? <laughs> exactly. And she, she for sure owns up to it. You can see that she feels like a child like they mm-hmm. treat they treat her like a child yeah so she's ditzy she doesn't know things uh but she's at the point now where she wants to be able to help more mm-hmm. so she's trying to create this encyclopedia even though she really just wants to fight and she's learning more about everyone and kind of things that she hasn't for some reason like she had never met cinnabar uh cinnabar is the night patrol she walks around on the coast and protects them from things in the sky co- called lunarians they are these creatures from Earth that are constantly trying to attack the minerals. These do they have a name or are they just minerals? Uh, yeah, I don't think they call themselves anything particular. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah. So Lunarians from the moon, lunar, whatever, makes sense. Yeah. So these from the Earth, it would be something else. Anyways, uh, first episode, we meet Cinnabar. The reason that she's Night Patrol and she's the only one out there is because she has all this mercury that floats around her. Um, everyone has very unique hair, so they're dressed in like school uniforms. Foss has this kind of uh, turquoise-looking hair, and it looks... Like, that's the most 3D animated kind of part of her for a mm-hmm. lot of scenes. Um, and then Cinnabar has this really dark, pretty red hair. And she's got all this mercury around her. And the mercury, I think, looks a little bit weird. And that might have been one of the things that I was uncomfortable with. It kind of looks like it's like goo kind of floating. Yeah. It's like but, ever, ever changing. Mm-hmm. But I think it's not just that. Because later on... It's, we'll, it's the frames yeah. that really do it. But... It, we'll see. There's... I mean, later on we'll talk there's about... There's like, more stuff There's other like kind that. of stuff that's kind of gooey. And I just wasn't a fan of all that kind of stuff in general. Yeah. It yeah. just didn't look that fantastic. Yeah. Um, and I think that could be the limits of the software that they're using for 3D anima- animation. I don't really know. Yeah, yeah. Could be the uh, the light refraction effects on it. Whatever it is, looks a little bit funky. So, anyways, uh, Cinnabar's out there. She's super weak. Her 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 hardness. Her hardness, yeah, uh, is lower than Foss. Yeah, she's at two. Yeah. Uh, so she is protecting against Lunarians because she could use all this mercury stuff mm-hmm. in order to attack them. And they come and they shoot arrows, and she protects. Uh, so that's our first little case of she is going to be. Like, she's falling towards the ground. She's super soft. So, Foss tries to grab her, and her uh, Cinnabar's arms break off Mm -hmm. when she's grabbing the the board or whatever. But it's no big deal, because it turns out that there's also this chick. I don't remember her name. It's like Rodite or something like that. The doctor girl. Yeah, she's a doctor. Uh, She has hair that's also a darker red color, but she also has some, like, golden yellow that's underneath that. So, it's like two-tone hair. Which looks weird sometimes, but it looks good other times. Mm-hmm. I think that the idea is really fucking cool. Honestly, all the designs are really cool for all of these characters, but sometimes they don't look as good as others. Yeah, some yeah, some just just aren't as nice as others. Like yeah, exactly. You said like uh, there's ones that like I really fucking like, and there's one like like the one that you like particularly like this mm-hmm. the doctor. I wasn't a fan of it. Um, mm-hmm. But you know that's just me. There's yeah. there's one I really didn't like, and you you also really liked. They go, oh, it's, I thought it was too big and dumb. Mm. And then I didn't realize, you know, the J- Jade one. You yeah. like, you hate her hair or whatever. Uh uh-uh. uh. I thought you didn't like her hair. No. Oh, I I, I thought her hair was fine or whatever. I thought you. Said, I liked her hair. No, I thought her hair was fine. Anyways, they got <laughs> they got dumb looking hair. Yeah, some of them do. Anyways, uh, so she's just put back together. There's a doctor that can fuse the gems back together, and then it turns out that really any of them can do that. Mm-hmm. It's not a special thing. You just kind of got to know how to do it. She just kind of dedicates right. herself to doing that. Yeah. yeah, so she's the best at it. That's her role. Mm-hmm. Everyone has specific roles. And then we start learning all the different people that patrol the different places. So we met Cinnabar. She's still going to keep doing her own thing, even though she's not happy with it. Foss says, I'm going to try really hard to find something thing that you will enjoy and you could be better at yeah. than anyone else. Yeah. So Foss is looking for that. That's her new goal. Uh, she has this really strong connection with Cinnabar for like a minute. And then we're hanging out with Diamond. We get to meet her. She's fucking cool, right? She's cool. Yeah. I like Diamond a lot. I, do I like, like her design a, a ton. I think her hair is really pretty. She's uh, just a really nice, really powerful mineral <laughs> i keep wanting to say gem over and over yeah but some of them aren't really gems so. i think her hardness is at like nine yeah she's super fucking hard but her issue is that she could still break pretty easily um depending on the the vibration of her attacks so if she attacks something hard she'll vibrate too hard and she could break mm-hmm. off her parts she pretty easily herself, yeah um so she's she's kind of hanging out for a minute with Foss, and then they get attacked by some crazy ass fucking snail thing. We also learned about Bort, who is a black diamond, mm-hmm. and she's even more powerful than Diamond is. Yeah, she's way hard. Her hair looks dumb. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like a like it's like flat pasta. <laughs> it's like a trench coat on her head. Yeah, kind of can... like it's a duster where when you're doing badass Matrix moves and it flips out, that's her hair instead. Yeah, it's really it looks, dumb. It looks kind of dumb. Um, but Bort's really fucking good at fighting, and we learned that immediately. So while mm-hmm. Diamond can break, Bort doesn't really have that issue ever. Um, so a giant snail thing comes, and it's freaky. Foss doesn't know what to do. Foss gets eaten trying to help people. Um, she gets totally fucking melted. And in being melted, everyone else is like, what the fuck do we do? A little, like, gross slug thing was left over from their fight after they beat the giant monster that was... 
destroying literally everything. And they decided to keep it around because it was Diamond was talking to it and it reacted to the name Foss. Mm -hmm. So clearly she realized, oh my God, this must be Foss, (laughs) which it wasn't, but I mean, obviously it was, yeah. Uh, So then they, they spent a little while trying to figure out how the fuck did we get her back? We've lost our main character in the show. Uh, And then they figure out, oh, we get her back because the snails create their shells from what they eat. So depending on what kind of minerals they eat, their shell will be different. Well, they ate all of Foss. So we're going to go and create Foss again by taking all the little pieces out of the shell. So they worked really hard and they brought her back. Um, And from that, they started a new story of what the fuck is this little snail thing? And apparently Foss can talk to it. Mm-hmm. So Foss goes through a little journey. Uh, turns out that this snail thing is actually a person. Yeah. It's the princess of the water people. Mm-hmm. She kind of looks like a, I don't know what, like a squid person. She's, she's a, a jellyfish. Yeah. She's yeah. like a, she, she looks like she belongs she has, in the water. Yeah. She she's has very pretty. As soon as they get bang. into the water and she becomes a person instead of the little sluggy thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, really cool design. I loved the way that she looked. I want to see more characters like that. And yeah. I know that there would be more in other seasons. Um, so we get to see her whole thing. Foss gets tricked. It turns out that she's being given to Lunarians in exchange for the princess's brother. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there's a little thing that goes on there. Foss is just kind of caught up with it and she's rescued, but she loses her legs. Mm-hmm. So, because she's lost her legs, and there's no way to get them back at this point. They're just lost in the ocean somewhere, I think. Yeah. Um, They create... They still have that shell from before. They create new legs for her out of this space shell, yeah, right? Yeah. The, the, what happens is... the So, the brother gets traded. He gets yeah. into his sexy mode or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and then... Uh, he becomes a person. Yeah. yeah, he becomes a person. And then he breaks off a couple pieces of his own shell that he has. That's what it is. And then yeah. he... You know, him and his his sister kind of came into There's like, here, th- take this shit. So she takes she takes Foss back and leaves her at the edge of the beach with like no legs and these these pieces of shell to do whatever you can. You know. Yeah. Um. Also, it is important to say that um to bring a gem back, you need all the pieces, right? Mm-hmm. And if you lose a piece, it's kind of, you can lose, you memories lose memories because that's where they keep their memories. You know. Also, these. These people don't feel pain. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's another thing where they're cr- cracking and losing parts. They don't feel pain. It's just kind of like, fuck, I lost something. <laughs> so it's <laughs> not... Go, fuck, I need that. It's not that devastating. So uh, Foss being disintegrated, she was just kind of thinking the whole time. But yeah. her thoughts were weird because she's kind of falling apart. Um, but in general, these creatures, these minerals, don't worry too much about the pain that they feel because... They just care about them cracking yeah. and losing the memories and losing the parts and not being able to function that well. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, Foss gets these kick-ass new pieces of shell as legs, and they're way fucking better than her material that she was originally made from. Yeah, they're so seven and a half. She loses memories. Why do you remember these numbers? I don't know. I, I'm cool with that's it. That's how hard she. That's how hard <laughs> so her legs are. She has seven and a half legs, which yeah. it's not the best in the world, but, but it's good. holy way shit, it's better. way better than what she was. Um, so now she has these new powerful legs, and she could run around super fucking fast. What's funny too is that um, even though she has these super fast legs or whatever, her body's still super weak. Yeah. So she can still hurt herself. Like she can, oh, yeah. she can crack at the joints, but for the most part. Her her body has accepted these legs, uh-huh. and I love the fact that they're super fast because they're so fast she can't control it. Yeah. Oh, I fucking love that bit. It was great. Yeah. So um, yeah, fucking, that that was a cool. And they look, they're swirly. They're like cool. yeah, really cool designs. Yeah. Um. So, anyways, we get to see that for like just a minute. Mm-hmm. Not a whole lot's going on, and then they're like, "All right, it's time to sleep for a long time. Winter has come, babies." Yep. So. Everyone gets these, like, nightgowns that were carefully made from the chick who uh, makes all of their clothes, I guess. Sexy nightgowns. Yeah. And uh, Foss is like, you know, I'm just not tired and I'm feeling kind of weird about stuff. She also trained a little bit with uh, Amethyst, which are these two twins. And they're freaky as fuck. They're really fun. They They, they smash their heads together in a freaky-ass way. It It does this crazy clicking clicking someone. Yeah. And it makes the other minerals feel uncomfortable because uh, the only thing that can break them kind of is like... I mean, things they can crack themselves, right? Yeah. But other minerals can break them, you know, like Uh other things that are harder than them. So when they hear... 
these two amethysts have the same level of hardness and they're yeah. the same. When they hit each other's head, nothing happens, right? And so so they when, do it all the time. And they're just like, Ugh. it is It is really unsettling. It is. I, I don't know why it is, but they did a really good, j- good job at conveying that in the sound, in the way that they looked. The way they talked. In the way that everyone reacted. Like, every part of that was just like, oh, okay, cool. They, they I like of, what they're doing. They felt kind of like reminiscent of the twins from The, like, the Shining, you know? They're, oh, like, yeah. they're kind of creepy. It's that eerie. But also, they were... They, cool and yeah, helpful absolutely. and by the time like um but later in the show they they warm up more I'm like they're yeah. still weird but they're not like creepy weird they're just like yeah they go, okay um so yeah she so does train with these them, new yeah. la- legs and she's training with them because she feels like well now i have something that is actually good so maybe i should be good at fighting i don't know yeah and she's training with them which essentially means she's walking around and they're goofing off and then suddenly they're being attacked right when she was about to start actually sword training mm-hmm. uh and they're essentially just like, hey, run away. Get the fuck out of here. And she, she is just stunned. She She's froze. afraid. She froze up. Uh, Bort comes and saves the day, even though Amethyst was about to be taken away and killed. Yeah. Uh, Bort comes in, saves everything. Is like, fuck you guys. She's also like really broody and just like intense about things. Um, so she's like, the fuck were you doing? Like, blah, blah, blah. Explain yourself. Yeah. Yeah. There's really nothing to be said. Anyways, so that happens. Foss is blaming herself. Can't fall asleep. So she stays up. She requests, hey, can I just uh, stay up as long as I can during the winter so that I can, you know, work on whatever the well, fuck? Yeah. She says, like, she says, after being eaten by a snail, right, or whatever, and then her surgery, she yeah. just doesn't feel tired. Like, the other gems are yeah. tired. Like, they, they want a big old long nap. Oh, of course. But she's she just, she physically can't fall yeah. asleep. And There's too much going yeah. on for her to fall asleep. Like, mentally... Her body, it's just all this stuff's happening. She's like, mm-hmm. yeah, I can lay here all I want. I'm not going to fall asleep. We also get introduced. In comes the best character. Yeah, this is a, we introduce a new character because, like, if they're all going to sleep, who's going to take care of them, right? Uh-huh. And then they introduce uh, Ant- Antarctic Kite or whatever. And um, she, she is, she's really a hard, she's a hard girl, right? Yeah. <laughs> but she's but she's made out of water. Uh-huh. And it has to be really cold for her to crystallize and become like this. Yeah. So we just see this fucking pretty fucking boy come out of the water even though it's a girl sexy looking boy though well it's because uh all of the gyms don't have any rep- reproductive organs yeah, yeah. so they're just, genderless yeah. yeah but they, they they do look more feminine yes right? um so he shows up and he's ready to do his duty he's a all white crystal right mm-hmm. and uh he goes up to the sent the fucking the master he's like hey man fucking ready to do a thing and he goes like cool and then he goes can we do you know is it, he called it a ritual or whatever it, it was a girl. It was, yeah. No. Yeah, they're all I girls. Still call her, I mean, I you're still saying call he. Me, who cares? But they're all girls. So, can still call him a he. So, sure. He does, uh, can I get a misgender? They don't have genders. <sighs> Whatever. They all go by she. Anyways, he says, hey, can I get my tri- tri- you are tribute You so thing? offensive. And um, he he goes, yeah. The, sen- the fucking sensei goes, yeah. yeah. And then they hug, which is, well, the sensei lets himself get hugged. Yeah. He, and then... Uh, Fucking um, Foss sees it, and I think it's so funny. Yeah, she's just peeking out like, ooh, I saw that shit. Mm-hmm. And she explains, like, I can't sleep. Can I stay awake? And then they're like, yeah, but if you're going to stay awake, you're going to team up with fucking uh, Antarctic Antarctic Kite and um, do the patrolling and do what the thing is and train or whatever. So mm-hmm. that's And then this is the training episode or whatever. Yeah. Essentially, they just go out, and they're giant-ass icebergs, which are... I don't remember the name, but I essentially... The sensei had called them sinners, mm-hmm. so that's what I remembered them as, mm-hmm. um, even though that's not what they actually are. They're like these frozen Lunarians in some way yeah, or another. They kind of they kind of peek up in the water, right? Because like, uh, they're on a weird island, right? Yeah. So like these glaciers form, and they get really high peaks, and you need to break them. If yeah. not, it's going to fucking fuck everything up right so for some reason or another it's not really explained too much when they they rub together everything kind of rumbles and you could hear like creepy sounds so they destroy them it turns out that these are living in some way or another mm-hmm. in the same way that the minerals are living these are created from the earth and they are somehow kind of alive but not fully they can make sounds that sometimes sound like they're talking, but yeah. they're just making sounds. And then Foss or whatever, Foss, like, yeah. she can actually, like, decipher she's, them or hear them. Like, the, Yeah, she's I, the only one that could talk to the slug. Yeah. So she can so. also talk to these moving pieces of earth or whatever, and they're just, like, saying stuff like, ow, that hurts, or, you know, why, yeah. why are you doing this? And they're kind of, they sound kind of evil at one point. They kind of, 
they trick her into well this was kind of like a call of the void moment yeah, yeah, where yeah. a lot of people like that's that thing where sometimes people are standing on the edge of a cliff or on a bridge or something jump, yeah yeah and there's something in you that makes you want to like what would happen if i just jumped right now yeah yeah and that's kind of what i saw this as is like she could hear them and they were the physical embodiment of that feeling mm-hmm. she's like there's a giant hole into the ocean and if i went down there i don't know if i'd be able to get back amongst all of this shit yeah and they're like, hey, you, you already, do it. yeah, do it. yeah. we already know that you don't have legs. You would be better if you had new arms. Why well, don't yeah. you just let us take your arms from you? Well, they're, yeah, they're training for a bit and yeah. doing sword play stuff, running, learning how to run and shit, whatever. Yeah. But yeah, if she had, I think, I think Antarctica at one point says something to this sensei, says like, yeah, Foss is doing great. Mm-hmm. Now, only if you had matching arms for those legs, you know? Like, yeah. And I think that kind of resonated with her. And maybe that's what... Also, she had broken her arms a couple of yeah, times yeah. while they were doing that. Because she had to be repaired. Yeah, and they trained really hard or whatever. But mm-hmm. I think um, maybe that's where that whole void thing came in. Like, the, the yeah. that doubt being like... Oh, yeah. It's like, hey, it's like, she goes, lose your arms. Because at one point, she's like, considering cutting off her arm or whatever. Uh-huh. He's like, lose your arm. And it's like, and then he goes, well, what do I do? He's like, you'll figure it out. You found new legs. You'll find new arms, right? Yeah. And uh, she's about to, like, stick her hand in, like, a like a hole, right? Yeah, in this little hole in the water. And then the glacier's, she, like, the glacier's like, we'll take care of it. Don't worry. We'll get rid of those arms. Mm-hmm. And she pulls back. She realizes, what the fuck am I doing? But falls back in the water anyways and loses her arms. Mm-hmm. So when this happens, Antarctica is like, yo, what the fuck's happening? And flies over from super far away. Then jumps down in the water and is trying to find the arms any way that she can. Mm-hmm. And she loses hers for a bit. Yeah. yeah, she loses her hand. Uh, it, get, it got crushed between two glaciers coming together or pieces of ice under the water. They just crashed into each other, got her arm. And then she's, she's going to grab it again. And then they're coming together and it's about to crush her other hand. And she's able to pull off that piece that mm-hmm. she lost before. She gets back up there and she's like, I couldn't do anything about her arms and brings her back to the, the master. Uh, yeah. To the master. And he's like, Hey man, this sucks. Now only if we had new material and she forgets stuff again, right? Mm-hmm. The way she does. She forgets a couple of things. So she becomes a little bit different. She knows that she fucked up. Yeah. And, uh, they go to this beach where they kind of learn like, okay, well we know that there are different versions and we're all created from people. But apparently this is where people are created and yeah. they see a gem that's not fully formed drop and it's not a person, yeah, but it just, almost looks like a person. Yeah, it's shaped the right way. Mm-hmm. It's kind of, this is where they come from, is where they're born or whatever. And, uh, you know, I think over time, eventually, uh, like one, a foreign one will popped out. You yeah. Know? And then they go, cool, we, we have a new sister or whatever. We'll you know? teach them everything, how to talk, how to act. But for the most everything. part, this thing just kind of produces these minerals. Yeah. And um, when they get there, there's a chunk of ruby that drops. It did look a lot like a human. Yeah. Go, and I was like, oh, okay, it's not. Yeah. And then what there was a lot of, it was a uh, golden platinum. Platinum, It's yeah. kind of chilling. And uh, fucking Antarctica like, goes, there's no good. This would be good, but, but it's, it's way too, too heavy. fucking yeah. heavy. Yeah. They go like, we can't do anything. And, and our tent and the gold and platinum, they also make clear is like, is it a mineral? It's a, they call it an alloy. Like it's, mm-hmm. you know, it's a piece of metal or whatever. So they go, there's nothing else. So they put the arm on her anyways, like a piece of thing. And they go, well, let's see what happens. Why not? Right. Yeah. And the thing just starts like, I think the monsters show up while this stuff starts bubbling around her and she kind of gets encased in this big old gloop of, of gold. Yeah, which, it creates like a gold cube around mm-hmm. her as it's trying to form. And then inside the gold cube, like she's just drowning, like like being just swashed around up, and bubbling yeah. in this, in this she's like, hey, uh, can you help me? And this kind of also shares like the same animation properties or style or whatever that, you know, that the fucking Mercury chick has, you know? Yeah. And I, I also kind of thought it looked kind of not the best in my yeah. opinion. No, I totally see that. But like also I look at it and I'm like, I definitely couldn't do better. I yeah, couldn't no. tell you what to do, but I feel like their software might be a limit for them. That's all that I felt as I'm watching yeah. it. I'm not saying I know how to do it better. I'm yeah. just saying it, I know that it, I think it, it could be better. I think the problem is fluid is so fucking wild. It's tricky, yeah. It moves nonstop all the time. So it didn't look that great because it had to be limited to a certain frames per second. And yeah, with yeah. 3D animation, it's even harder to yeah, get yeah. that many frames per second. I think also, like, since this was the first time, like, we're seeing her being involved with this, like, gold stuff. Yeah. It was kind of being like, well, we don't know what the shit does. So it mm-hmm. was kind of at points jaggedy and, like, not the, you know, yeah. not smooth. Until later, she gets, she gets a hold of how to use this stuff and looks, yeah. it looks a little bit better. Essentially she's broken out, but Antarctica 
was taken away by Lunarians. Yeah, they, they got get her, attacked yeah. by some crazy ones. Crazy ones have been coming. There's an old kind, which you just kill them and it's fine. The new kind, you kill them, but they're not dead. And they actually have like other powerful things that yeah. they could use to fight against they're, you. They seem to be implementing pieces of other gems or minerals that they've mm-hmm. stolen. Because like I said, like these part things can break these other things. So like, yeah, uh, the Amethyst fought one that used like pieces of sharp sapphire, like sapphire. Mm-hmm. I don't know what gem this one was, but it, it seemed to do this thing where like it was like fish hooks. Yeah, it had little lures. And then when they would also pull the, the like the the fucking rope out or whatever, the lining, it would blow up. Would, yeah. You know? So like these are the new forms. They these, had crazy ass properties using different gems and minerals mm-hmm. that they've collected. So they collect Antarcticite um, because Foss is stuck inside this box, doesn't have arms, was trying to adhere some new arms. They got attacked. She breaks it out was, to try to help. But it's just too mm-hmm. late, you know? Like, yeah. I mean, essentially what happened was it was really, really close. We had Antarcticite fight them off. Mm-hmm. They were almost all gone. She's trying to break out Foss and save her life. She's like, it's fine, man. Even though I'm cracking, it's totally fine. I'll help you. Like, no big deal. It turns out that winter was ending right now, suddenly, out mm-hmm. from nowhere. So that's why Antarcticite was shattering so quickly, so much. And then uh, she completely shatters, and well, all the Lunarians pick up her pieces and take her away. Well, here's the, the thing that I thought. Um, I don't think winter ended because there's a point where, like, um, later on when, when when the girls wake up, yeah. they tell them, like, yeah, we lost Antarctica. It didn't completely end. No, yeah, it was like a pocket was, of sunlight that came out of nowhere. Yeah. So these Lunarians, like, came and fucked shit up. And um, it was like a... It was something that, like, the master, like, even said, like, I couldn't have predicted that this would have happened, no. you know? And... He also seems to be need like times to meditate and sleep. Yeah, but he, essentially, it's told he can't beat his weariness. Yeah, like that's the one thing he can't fucking do is if he gets tired, he's done. So like t- during times of winter, he decides to stay awake. Right, like I have to do this mm-hmm. to protect these people, or whatever. So he sent them pretty far, which is like the opposite side of the island of where they're going. Yeah. Right. So like he he also makes it in time to try to help. Um, to save Antarctica. Yeah. And he just misses. But there was a full assault at the same time. Yeah, yeah. It they, wasn't oh, just yeah. on this little area. It was also on the temple. Yeah, they sent you to get him. And they, he's like, those creepy ass fucking Lunarians were fucking trying to get their grubby hands on our sexy man. Wasn't having it. Nah. No. Also, what happened was like when, so. Lots of moving parts yeah, Foss, with this. Foss has her, like, she gets the gold to listen to her and create arms and she starts running to save her she's yeah. also cracking and we're seeing that like the gold is like filling in the cracks or whatever yeah and something that we later get to realize is this shit is really heavy mm-hmm. so yeah she has strong legs and they were super fast but now because she has a really heavy arms it has really stunted that speed that she had you know yeah she's fast she's not anywhere near as fast as she used to be so that's just she lost she gained one thing and lost another right yep. so yeah um so after we lose antarctica I think Foss spends the rest of the winter just kind of like protecting and serving and like yep. doing what Antarctica would have She's done. adjusted, but she's lost parts of her personality Again, and her yeah. memories. So she doesn't remember who Cinnabar is. Mm-hmm. Um, and really. Before that, she forgot who, who Jade was also. Like, yeah. When she lost her leg, she's like, who are you? And like, and she started crying. I was like, ha, you, gotcha. you bitch <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, so we definitely see those parts and her personality does a drastic change from mm-hmm. being... Uh, that fun, bubbly kind of person that just wants to try really hard into this is my job. I work hard. Things are fucked up. She's more serious. She's like, yeah. I've had to protect. She also feels really guilty about losing Antarctica. You know, she mm-hmm. sees her in dreams, even though she like yeah. kind of refuses to sleep. She just kind of passes out sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, um, all the other minerals wake up. She gets a hair change too. She yeah. uses her haircut. Um, she uses the little pieces from that to fill in, to fill in some cracks that were created uh, that she had lost pieces mm-hmm. previously from the gold adhesive. So she wakes situation. up. The other girls wake up once spring comes, right? And yeah. they get informed of what happened at Antarctica. And, they're freaking out. And they get introduced to new Foss or whatever. They're freaking out. And they are freaking out. At first, they were like really scared of, of her arms. You know, like they're like, oh my God, they're terrified. A quick hot minute passes, and now they're now they're super interested. There is like, how far can you stretch? You know, what material is this? One girl needs Foss's new measurements because she's taller now, so she needs to make her new clothes. Bort wants to slice her and see how How, fucking how it feels to cut her alloy. The doctor wants to test the strength of her metal. Yeah, wants to cut her open and see what it's like. Essentially, they're like overwhelming this new new wish new character, like this character who we know but has for sure changed, and so she. 
does a lot of running in that episode, like just fucking mm-hmm. escaping and dipping. So in. this was like goofy kind of break from mm-hmm. all the seriousness we got. Cause those two episodes with Antarctica, Pretty, I think were the best. Really good. Yeah. I really yeah. like those episodes. Absolutely. We meet a really cool character, lose that character. We get introduced to this whole new character, <laughs> change this character shift of our, <laughs> yeah. our main character. And it's like some really cool stuff going on. Yeah. Uh, so she has all these interactions with the different people uh, and we get to see kind of them coming to and realizing, Oh shit. So she's important now. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and the last few episodes here are essentially about Bort comes up to uh, Foss and is like, Hey, you want to team up? Like you've got your shit together. You're clearly hard as fuck, bro. And I think the master is like, KO'd like he's he's knocked out yeah and so they're like it's good he we, had to stay up way more during the winter had because to, of this giant yeah, attack be, yeah and you know he had to keep an eye on Foss and help her uh-huh. out some more do a, some training a, a lot of the times when they're fighting these Lunarios or whatever it's like they fight for a bit and then the sen- the master shows up and kind of cleans and yeah. finishes up or whatever because he's the strongest right right so that's a burden or whatever so Bort or whatever says we're the strongest boys mm-hmm. let's be the strongest boys together and then Diamond who was normally Bort's partner is just kind of left at home mm-hmm. doing whatever. So everyone's out on patrol. Everything's good um, until suddenly L- Lunarians show up. Mm-hmm. They're going to attack. Uh, so Bort and Foss are just like on it immediately trying to take care of it. And they realize, oh, fuck. Okay, so this is a lot different. So instead it's hands coming out of portals instead of the weird Rorschach appearance of these fucking Lunarians. Yeah. It's fucking hands that are going nutso. So, Bort's like, yo, go ring the bell. We got to get the fuck out of here. Ring it six times. It's perfect. So, Foss is thrown there, rings it, and she's like, fucking good call. Get everyone to come here and help us out. And she's like, no, the exact opposite. Nobody should be around. We're going to lure it back to the temple, and we're going to have Master help us out. We got to wake him up, yeah. Yeah, nobody else is going to be here if everything goes to plan. (laughs) Fucking anime. Come on. Yeah. It's not going to plan. We know this game. Yeah. Uh, so back at home, we have Diamond, who's fucking around doing her goddamn thing. And it's chill. Whatever. Uh, we also have the Sensei. We know about both of them. So we didn't realize. We kind of forgot. Alexandra. We've mm-hmm. met Alex before. Like She's chill. Bit, yeah. She she does a whole bunch of reporting. Uh, she writes a lot. She reads a lot. She almost she doesn't been, you know, the perfect person to write an encyclopedia, you know? You know, she would have been. Almost, but yeah. I guess our story had to go a little bit differently to get to the place that we are. Mm-hmm. Uh, so anyways, she's just doing her fucking thing. She's not supposed to be in combat. And we quickly learn why. So we're doing a fight against the giant hands, which turns into a giant person beast thing it kind of looks like the god of thunder or lightning or whatever um that's in a lot of japanese fiction folklore and whatnot Mm -hmm. uh it has a similar look to that to me as an uneducated piece of shit um so i was pretty down with that it was cool and then they they cut it down it halves into a a few smaller dudes this is the point where you're asleep yeah so they're kind of like fluffy fuzzy cloud people fighting this thing yeah for sure yeah so it was it's hard or whatever. They're getting fucked. Yeah. So when it first gets there, uh, they're running away. They're trying to help everyone out. Uh, then they realize, Oh shit. What are you doing here? Alex, you shouldn't be here. Uh, let's get you out of here. Bort's still chasing the thing. And Foss is trying to help out Alex. Since they still asleep, they haven't been able to get to him in time. And then Alex is like, was diamond being chased by the giant monster? Part of your plan. They're like, fuck. No, it wasn't. So we have this like a whole horror element where she's sneaking around. It's like ju- the Jurassic Park raptor yeah, scene, yeah, right? Sure, yeah. So we get like a raptor scene with this giant monster and diamond crawling around on the ground and whatnot. And it's working out. And then they lure it back, cut it in half, uh, it turns into a few smaller guys. They're trying to take care of those uh, the best that they can. Bort's out doing other shit. Sensei is still doing whatever the fuck he's doing. And then we have uh, Alex and Foss. They're being attacked by... Uh, one right now but we know that there are more of these little dudes that are smaller they're crawling around they're creepy and foss is holding back with all of her goopy ass gold metal uh 
then behind her is Alex, who's refusing to look at it and isn't helping. And Foss's sword gets knocked away, so she can't do shit. She's like, yo, can you like help me out? The sword's too far. I can't grab it. I can't do anything. She's like, no, I can't do it. And after a bit of back and forth, finally, Alex is like, I can't look at them. I'm told not to look at them, and I can't fight them. She's like, well, you have to help me. Otherwise, I'm going to die, and you're going to die, too. Mm-hmm. So then she looks at it and she goes crazy. So her hair goes from being uh, pretty similar to Foss, that like teal kind of color that it's a little bit more bluish. Uh, Her hair turns into a red, like a bright red. And it does a really, really cool transition effect between that blue and red. Uh, It's got like some purple in between and it just does like a, a little wave down. And then she goes into rage mode. So she straight up kills it. Some more come to attack. Foss gathers them all. And Alexandrite just slices them down super quick. And Bort comes and she's like, oh, shit, Red Alex, huh? Well, I guess it had to be done, right? Like, what are you talking about? You knew about this? Yeah, we all kind of know about this, which is something that happens a lot. People are just like, yeah, everyone knows about this except for you because you're young, you dumbass. I think I think it is. Yeah, it's, it's, it comes with a bit where she's young. She'll forget stuff because she's lost body parts. Yeah. But they go, yeah, we've seen this a lot. I mean, like 2,000 years ago. Yeah. Sorry, I've only been around for the last 300 years or whatever. So exactly. Like, yeah. So like, yeah, she's not supposed to because she does this. She goes crazy. Look at her. And then Alex is just sitting there with her head up to the sky. like, Wah. Just like fucking out of it. Yeah. She's been put into a crazy situation anyways um so we see that really quick master comes everything's all chill again uh there are a bunch of little ass dogs that go out to everyone else and these little ass dogs are the final versions of this giant monster and they're like they're too cute we can't kill them even bort isn't able to kill them because they're too cute and then they uh they kind of gather them they all come back and it turns into a giant monster again and foss is trying to hold it back Sensei's there, and Sensei's like, oh, hey, what up, Shiro? And then suddenly the giant monster's like, hey. And he chills out, and it turns kind out like, that yeah. he's the master's pet yeah, dog. Like a, like a dog, yeah. So this is us being like, oh, shit, so master's got a pet Lunarian? Wait a second, what? what's going on yeah. here? So there's definitely elements that we don't understand, and this sets Foss off in a new direction to where she wants to know more about this world. She realizes she doesn't know shit. Master doesn't tell her everything. Other people might know more, but she's they not getting all the information yeah. she needs. There's some stuff that she needs to find out for herself and just can't blindly trust people anymore. What's funny is, though, she even goes to the point where like, she kind of like, she's questioning, like, does that mean like master is a Lunarian? Like, you know, yep. she doesn't really know his story. Right. And whenever she like, there's, I think she questions, I think it's a doctor and maybe fucking Bort or whatever, but yeah. like, she like brings it up or whatever, because you know, they're the smarter ones that, you know, yeah. and they kind of go, yeah, man, you know, sometimes, you know, I've asked myself the same stuff, but like, what the fuck are you going to do? You know? Like, yeah. They're like, he's clearly insanely powerful. He looks after us for a reason. So, like, why? Yeah. That's how we're going to live, man. Like, we don't know all the moving pieces. We just know this little bit. So, you don't think I've, like, I've thought of this? Like, obviously, they've lived longer than her, but they go, Mm -hmm. go, yeah, like, hey, man, if you want to find an answer, like, go for it. But, like, we're fucking chilling right here. Yeah. And, like, these last, I think it's these last two, three episodes or whatever, it's, it's a lot of her trying to, like, figure out who she can believe in her wanting to learn more and we get introduced to this she's not a ruby but she kind of looks like a ruby right yeah she's got some name that i'm not familiar with yeah. but it's it's a big complicated one and she's like a, a there's essentially like a one of the minerals who has missing holes in her chest mm-hmm. like big old chunks and uh, our doctor has been trying for years to cut shit like pieces of gem in the right shape to try to match it up like similar hardness and stuff which honestly there's a really pretty shot where they have the whole color spectrum behind her and all these different pieces yeah, that these, could fit into her chest strange shapes that, um, that, that at first i thought like oh those are it's an odd shape to cut something into right they're uneven at, mm-hmm. like at the top or whatever but they fit perfectly which is yeah. like oh that's super fucking cool it was yeah. rad really cool shot of just everything lined up it was artistic it was neat um anyways so nothing's really worked and then foss is just like oh shit yeah i remember back when uh, uh, antarctica died mm-hmm. at that place there was some stuff that looked like maybe it would work and they go there and they're like, Oh shit, this is Ruby. Yeah. This might work pretty damn good. It's not perfect, but it's pretty damn good. It works pretty good. And then, and the chick wakes up and like, she goes like, Oh, how long have I been out? And they go like fucking forever. I think she said like 600 years, something like that. No, yes. No, just a long fucking time. It must've been 
300 over 300 years 200 years because foss does remember her but she was like a little kid or whatever yeah. like so just for a second yeah for a yeah. second so i think 200 years and she's like she goes like i've performed surgery on you like she said like over like thirty thousand times or shit like that and this girl's like oh great so she knows that you know this isn't like a perfect fix so no. she gets up she starts walking around and foss is able to talk to her because she's I think the oldest one. Uh huh. Um, she's way up. I mean, there. if hair length is an indication, then uh, it's her a hair, fucking indicator. Her hair is like so fucking big. It's yeah. like huge. It's, it's more than half her body. Tons. It's really big and full, and it goes down to like her feet. And then here was the thing that I we brought up because we remember that said that we said that uh, fucking Foss cuts her hair or chips uh-huh. it away and fills in the gaps to like yeah. for her body's like. Why couldn't you Why can't she just fucking ch- ch- make a big old chunk of Ruby's or whatever this bitch's name's hair and fit in the holes? She's got a lot of it, right? Yeah, and also, guess what? She wouldn't lose any memories from doing that. Because it's her own hair. Because, yeah, it just goes back into her, so. But apparently no one's thought of this. I don't know, man. Or maybe they have and her hair was even longer and it didn't work, you know? Who knows, yeah. So anyways. Because um, we don't. We don't know shit. Foss gets this answer that she wanted, you know, the same stuff being like, yep, yeah, I mean, we don't know. She goes, we know that fucking Master's here but we don't know anything about him we only know what yep. he tells us he she goes hey if you want to this burden to be on yourself or try to edge, figure this out good luck and then the girl passes out and also they were like yeah cinnabar's questioned that shit a lot too yeah and then she goes ah cinnabar who she totally like forgot about right yeah she's like she's important but i don't want to talk to her because mm-hmm, she feels weird about the interactions old her had with her yeah um nothing that happens here i guess fucking not really anything else. No, not happens. really. I mean, she she does like uh she does talk to the fuck what's her name? Cinna, Cinnabar. Cinnabar and says, Hey, I need this I need you to help me with this job. I need to fight figure out what what the truth is. She wants to talk to Lunarian, right? Mm-hmm. And she's about to talk to one, but she has one's Yeah, she, she was having it, a fight. And it's like makes the f- like an F sound. Yeah. And then Cinnabar comes and kills it because she doesn't know, right? Yeah. Um so she like confesses, Hey, I need help with this, I need to figure out what can we talk to Lunarans? What the deal is? I want to know more. I need to understand more. And they have like a moment or whatever, and like she blushes and she's yeah. like reluctantly agrees to help. I think. Yeah, essentially, Cinnabars is like, well, I'm not gonna fucking help you because you said that you were gonna find a job that's made for me, and I'm and it's like it's good, better, better and yeah. I'll enjoy it. And he goes, I'm sorry, and then I think Foss like she takes says, a second to sit there and be like, look, man, nothing's gonna be better. Everything fucking sucks. Life's terrible. We got to figure out the truths. You're the best one at this. I need your help. I'm asking you for help. I think Please he's, help. he's also been like so you know, detached from the other people for so long. Yeah. Like, you know, that she has, she's like unbiased. She can be like, okay, there's exactly. shit going on here. I can, I can sleuth it. And I don't have to be like, yeah, but I'm really good friends with everybody. And I was like, nah. She's smart and she keeps people in check. So one of the first and things. she's strong. I mean, yeah. her mercury power is strong. She Absolutely. physically is weak, but yeah. So if Foss is explaining it or whatever, and she's like, okay, well, let's say that Sensei is a piece of shit and he's is terrible. It's like, what do you, yeah, what do what's you, your next step? What are you going to fucking do? You haven't thought about shit at all. And she's just like, yeah, that's why I'm asking you for help. You think of things like that, and I didn't even think of that. Yeah. I need you. That's funny. I didn't think about it either. I go, what are you going to do? Fucking kill him? Good luck. Bro. Yeah. He's fucking too hot. Uh, and then the show ends with, like, we see little snippets of characters doing stuff, you know, where they're at. You know, I think mm-hmm. uh, Bort or whatever, the master took fucking Foss's advice and have Bort meet up with other people God, and Bort's train with them or whatever. such a fucking dumb name. I love it. You know, um, to, like, see their fucking... Bort can teach people their stuff. He doesn't have mm-hmm. to just always be with Diamond. Um, the twins are just still weirdos. <laughs> yeah. uh, there's the two characters who always play rock, paper, scissors to see who can take a nap. Mm-hmm. And for the first time, somebody else won or whatever. And she yeah. goes, oh, what? You know, I was like, just like little snippets of like character stuff. Because there are lots of characters. Lot. We didn't get to see a huge focus on too many. I think they said um, there's a total of like 28 of them. Mm-hmm. And we for sure didn't see. We saw about half. Yeah. Like a or, pretty or, okay or, you know. And then uh, the sensei calls. Um, like we know about Yellow Diamond, but we've hardly seen her. Yeah, and uh, so Sensei calls in Foss. It's like he wants to see him, and she just shows up, and he's like, "Fucking, I'm here to serve or whatever," you know. And that's that's where the mm-hmm. show ends. Um, yeah, that's it. I mean, it sets it up for for the second season. Second season, if they want to. I know that this is a manga, a continuing manga that's pretty popular, um, and there's for sure more material. I don't know how much more torch material, but I know, know. they they could do more. I would definitely read the manga. 
um, if they weren't ever going to make a second season, I would read the manga. I think so. I had a pretty good time with I've it. I've heard a lot of stuff about how good the manga is. Um, it's yeah. been two years. It's not like hopeless to say that it's not going to come back. We've had shows come back after five years. Yeah. I mean, so kind of, you know, gauge it by year or whatever. Be like, hey, yeah. if you want to know what happens, I would go to the manga. I've seen the manga artwork. It's kind of has it's a, different. Has a, but has like I can tell what they're trying to do. Keep mm-hmm. the vibe of it in this 3D animation. Yeah, things are long and lanky and, and stuff. And that's why I feel like 3D was a pretty good choice was, for yeah, this. It was a good like, choice. If you had to choose any anime, this, fucking great. This good job, fine, yeah. guys. Yeah, you chose uh, a good one. So, from what I've heard, so from what I know, there isn't any words of there being a second season. As of today, could Haven't happen. Heard. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but I, 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 Anime Expo announcements. <laughs> Who knows? Next week. We, we, Tune in. We did say um, if there's a second season, I would for sure watch it. Yeah, absolutely. I wouldn't say that like this was my favorite show. I would for sure say that I. It was um, good. Yeah, that I came back. You know, I misjudged it the first time. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. It's way better. I totally understand people's hype about it. Mm-hmm. It's not a show that I would recommend to everyone. Yeah. Um, it's not really one that I would recommend to anyone specifically. Yeah. But if you're looking for something that's got a really rich lore, mm-hmm. uh, some interesting characters, it feels new. I'll give it that for sure. It feels yeah. like something that hasn't been oh, done yeah. ever. It does feel really fresh. It feels. I like, think that's why I enjoyed it so much. It feels like I, I was sitting there being like, I can't guess where this thing's going to go. Because yeah. there's sometimes you watch an anime and you go, this is what's going to happen. And it happens and you go, fucking knew it. Right? Yeah. Like... For now, Demon Slayer. That show is so straightforward. Pretty, it feels like nothing new. Yeah, it's like paint by numbers, yeah. Rising of the Shield Hero. It's another isekai. We've seen this power struggle thing. It's doing similar stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's nothing that feels fresh. Like, there's a bunch of sequels that I'm watching right now that I'm having a great time with. Like, Attack on Titan. I never know what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. And I love that. Mm-hmm. But it also feels like I've been in this it, world it for a while. It feels like Attack on Titan. Yeah. yeah. This, this felt like something new. It for sure felt really refreshing to be like, huh. I don't know what's going to happen. And yeah. I'm interested to see where it is. The, the the back, the lore, like the world that they're in, it's there's a little bit of stuff they give you, like the just the bare yeah. minimum, right? And um, it was just, interesting. Which, which is also really nice. Because it's kind of yeah. like kind of like Made in Abyss. You go, right. wow, want to know mo- more about I this world? Know so much, yeah. The the only thing that was weird about this was like. I feel like I want to learn more, but I was never like, oh, fuck yeah. Next episode, fucking jacked. You know, it didn't Honestly, get me there. I'm... <sighs> If we did decide, you know what, I kind of want to see what's going on, and we watched the full season when it was coming out. You think you would have? I don't think I would have had as positive of a reaction. I think this is a good show to watch as a full season to kind of binge. I agree. Yeah, no, I mean, waiting on it was... Good because I, like we said that I feel like it would do a SARS on my thing for me. I didn't feel I didn't feel like I need to see the next episode mm-hmm. every time. Um, and if that was a weekly thing, I probably would have gotten like bored with it or something. Yeah, you know? honestly, just like all right, not a whole lot happened, but I feel like a lot did happen. But I don't know, whatever. I would recommend this specifically to people who like. If you like 3D animation, which mm-hmm. there's not a lot of you guys out there. You <laughs> there's know? like two. Yeah. And if you like you guys, it. Yeah, if you haven't seen this I, for some reason, I have reason. met a couple people who, who are who are fans of it. You know, like I'm like cool try this one like because i yeah. mean if that's what you like maybe you'll also like it because of the story you'll love this but that's like the that's like the lowest common people i could yeah. Yeah, I can't, <laughs> you know it's it's a good thing it's way better to binge it's from the first episode because we went into this a lot more optimistic the second time Absolutely. we didn't expect anything from it but let's have a good time because we're yeah. doing it give it a fair shake we either hate it you know like we thought we would mm-hmm or it surprises us, and it did surprise us. So. so, you guys that have just listened to the entire story of the first season, <laughs> what do you think? I mean, this—that's I mean, that's what happens when you listen to the it's, podcast. It's pretty interesting, though. Um, so, if if parts of it did sound kind of interesting, the fighting looks fucking good. The animation's really good. I love the character designs for I like, most people. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, I keep going. No, no, no. Uh, the character designs look fucking fantastic. The world is pretty simplistic, mm-hmm. so I never felt like, oh, I want to see like new settings or anything, because it all felt pretty playing, mm-hmm. and I think that that was limitations due to the software, software and the 3D animation. I, I would, I, when you said that you like the fights, I also enjoy the fights. What I like a lot about the fights uh, is the choreography and the camera yeah. work. The, the whoever's, oh, camera work whoever's, is great. Whoever's working those angles, it fucking feels smart. very cinematic. It feels very like... You know, they thought it through, like, okay, cool, like, sweeping shot fucking, here. Yeah, fucking, we're going to do a close up. Fucking and dolly we're gonna do here. Fucking extended, zoom, yeah. yeah. Fucking bumps here. It, it's, it looks well thought really out. Really fucking clean. Mm-hmm. Also, the fights aren't long. I, I also want to make that clear that some of the animations really good in between the training, uh, that freaky twin animation with Amethyst. Yeah. That was some of the best animation in it because I felt it. It, it wasn't felt, just. 
it felt real. Like, yeah. when, like I was saying, like one of my favorite bits of animation that made me forget I was watching a 3D animation was a bit where um, Foss's arms are broken off and the master says, we have to go to this part of the island or whatever. And she does this weird like shoulder shrug and points both her arms like, and where is that kind of thing in her face? Mm-hmm. And I go, ooh, that, that was fucking smooth. Like, yeah. That was animated really fucking nicely. There are lots of little moments that are animated way better than they need to be. Mm-hmm. And there are those big moments that are always animated well. My, my only issue with the fights was, and I, and like, and I told you this, mm-hmm. um, was what seemed to happen a lot was like, because the, the gems that are fighting are the warrior gems. Like, they're, yeah. the, they're the, the harder They've been doing ones. this for fucking That's ever. what they do, right? So they kick ass. And yeah. then they would always seem to miss one one bad guy they like they would Which, turn that's bound to happen they would sure. turn their head and then they would get shot by a stray arrow and then they were fucked um and i was like oh come on man like i saw it you know once i saw it a second time i was like i don't want to see it happen a third time and happen a third time i was like i'm done i don't do something different because i like when they bring out the extra weapons like the the gems that they're using to fight i was like cool show me more of that, you know, like have them start with that or whatever. Don't have it. Like you have to cut them open and then they think the battle's over and then but the thing I, comes out and pops out and they have to fight it or whatever. Well, one thing that I don't know for sure. I do know that in the beginning, Cinnabar is like, yeah, I never fight anything. My job is useless. And then they get attacked right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I don't know how often these attacks happen. Yeah. We were talking about this. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know the scale of time we, at yeah. all. Uh, no idea how long any of this takes place. Yeah. We just know that she has a 300th birthday. So she's been alive for 300 years. Don't know how long winter is. Don't know yeah. how long winter could have been a day. Is or winter could have been fucking years. Right. Yeah. Because when, and, and, to justify that or to like give you know like proof to that is like when they wake up from winter or whatever right like yeah uh she's she's for sure matured and changed she's totally she's different. different right and the fucking sensei's tired and it's like but we don't know how long this winter lasted it you know could have been a couple weeks we don't know how long a day is a day could be more than 24 hours you know uh-huh. um there's there's times where she's standing outside waiting for these uh fucking was it the lunarians. lunarians to show up and and she even says like to so one of the person's like hey you know it's kind of like you know the longer you wait for them to, like to show up, you know, the longer they just don't show up. Kind of like, mm-hmm. kind of like a fucking watch pot doesn't boil, you know. Like, yeah. oh, I want to see Lunarian, and they just never decide to show up. She could have been standing out there for weeks, just like waiting for these fuckers to show up, and us yeah. don't know. And it's because we they don't they they time passes, and we don't know how fast it passes. So what I'm trying to say is, I don't know how often they fight. Mm-hmm. If we had a better idea, if one comes by every like five months, mm-hmm. I would forget that. You know, combat works this way, and you yeah. always got to check. Like, after you beat everything, you're like, whew, that happened. Oh, shit, one more. Yeah. That could happen a lot. Master or, or Bort or whoever was always there to save the day. But in general, we don't know enough about it For sure. to make harsh judgments. For sure. But I totally see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, as, a, as a, you know, as just a viewer, it's like, come on, man. Arrow. Oh, fuck. They did it again. I was like, damn it. Exactly. And um, and then also, what, but you know what, what good twist was that? It was, it was Arrow, and you go, fuck. And then luckily the master would show up and save them at the end. Always. And then we had fucking um, Antarctica arrow. I was like, and then the master shows up like, oh, everything's okay. And it isn't okay. Mm-hmm. She gets taken away and I go, oh, fuck. And now <laughs> yeah. I'm sad, right? Yeah. Because I thought I knew what was going to happen. I thought she was going to be okay and she wasn't. Well, the thing that I was so bummed about, I'm like, yeah, I like this character. She's pretty cool. She gets taken away. But I'm also like, you know what? I didn't have enough time to care about her. She's not the biggest <laughs> loss. If Diamond died, it would be like, oh, fuck. Yeah, end it all, but, man. Yeah, I don't know. That's kind of how I felt about that. Um, definitely the best character. Definitely the best sequence. The yeah. best two episodes were For winter. Sure. Yeah. But anyways, uh, check it out if you want. I will definitely look back on this fondly. I'll watch a second season of it without a doubt. Mm-hmm. But it's not the show that is easy to recommend to everybody. I agree. Yeah, for sure. Um had a good time, so. Okay, cool. Um we were talking about what we're doing next week. Honestly, who fucking knows? We don't know. The shows are wrapping up. We're going to be at Anime Expo on um Wednesday we're flying out so the episode that we would normally post we have time to post one beforehand but i also kind of don't want to be like hey here's like a shitload of anime expo stuff right after our episode came Mm -hmm. out because we are going to try to post an episode each night so you could follow up on it like during the day like day one we'll talk about shit Mm -hmm. that night so the episode will be posted day two of anime expo which i believe is july 5th Mm -hmm. so anyways things are going to kind of come out like that 
we might just skip an episode. So if you don't see another episode next week, just know you're getting just, like a just, sick, just wait like two days, four day summary. Yeah, yeah. Unless nothing happens a couple of days at anime expo and then we'll combine it into one episode. Yeah. That, that also could happen. Anyways, but, uh, we don't know. We'll figure it out though. Definitely. If you like our logo, hit up Aaron from trivy If you like our theme song, check out Tom Nasser on SoundCloud and YouTube trip work. We'll find us. You can find us on Facebook. Look up the Instagram podcast. Same thing goes for Instagram. Look up the Instagram podcast. If you want to tweet at us, tweet at instant ramen pod. pod. You could go ahead and shoot us an email and start on podcast at gmail.com. Tell us what you think we should check out just in case like there's something that we don't know about for anime expo. Yeah. Um, or just whatever, man. I, I like you guys. Thanks for listening to us. I really appreciate it. Yep. You're all wonderful people. This is bad from Juan. See you around from Chris. Hey trip. Don't forget just add hot water. <laughs>